Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Start game. Uh, save slot one. Right, so we are going to start with Spyro the Dragon. We've also got Spyro Ripto's Rage and Spyro Year of the Dragon. So, Spyro 1, Spyro the Dragon, let's go. He saw me read it, exactly. He saw me read the terms and conditions. That's a crazy case, right? Oh. Okay, rolling. Hmm? It's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age, we now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? Huh. What about this Ganasty Ganok character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. Oh. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple? He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. Ugly? That does it! Uh oh. Get a TV stand your green bomb, alright. Good <laughs> nasty. <laughs> Uh, Sneak, I am playing this on Xbox. I'm playing on Xbox. I have the uh, the Xbox One version of the game. What's up, Zach? Spyro! Oh my god, this looks so good! Oh my god! Hi, Nesta. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. Oh. What about nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Hmm. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Oh, okay. Okay. So, uh, yes, you're correct, Beam Boy. I've never played Spyro before, except a little bit. So I've played Spyro 1. Uh, up until the end of this first realm. And then... Okay, so that's speed. And then I've played Spyro 3 till the first flying level, and then I cried and gave up. So that's all I've played as Spyro. This remaster is disgustingly pretty. Um, okay. Okay. Let's try this. I would have nailed that if I'd actually aimed. So having pretty right, they did it amazingly. They've done such a good job. Okay, that did not go well. Hang on, we can do this. It's a learning. It's a learning opportunity. We're learning how to play the game. Okay, for some reason, pressing and holding A does not glide, so I have to press it twice. Good to know. Let's go. There we go. Skill point. The hell's a skill point? Okay, so that's fire, that's charge. What's what's that? Okay, that's the look. Right. It's double press. Okay. Cool. Ooh, not not sure how I feel about the camera. So I know the camera does a thing of like it's going to um Oh. Hello. Hey Thomas. From high mountain peaks, oh. plummeting into prehistoric glaciers. Oh, oh, that. Yeah, that. When's the worm stream? Uh, so I'm at. I have uh, ordered uh, a makeshift worm costume. Uh, those who don't know, uh, you guys hear sub goal, which means I have to dress up as a worm for an entire stream. Uh, I had there. Uh, surprisingly, can't think why. There's no um, worm costumes available online, really. Um, So I've had to get my own makeshift one. Uh, so I am going to be doing that. Um, I am currently in the process of waiting for a uh, pink skin suit. Mm. Uh, some pink, like, uh, John Lennon sort of circular glasses. Uh, and uh, something else to arrive. 
because uh, I, ha I have to make my own because yeah <laughs> check the main menu for skill points okay oh there's a there's a location there right Ooh. okay skin suit sounds gross it looks gross. <laughs> it looks gross. It's literally just like... A, if, has anybody ever seen... Um, I'm, sh I'm sure you're old enough to know uh, Filthy Frank. You know that pink suit he wears? That's pink, pink bodysuit he wears? That's what I've ordered. <laughs> it's literally what I've ordered. Uh, do I have to go up the thing again? Okay. Bet him can't wait to see you in it. I know, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Should we go do that level? Let's go do that level. Okay, so... Uh, Spyro kind of acts, from what I remember, it kind of acts a lot like Crash, in that there's a hub area, and then you go to different different worlds, right? So think of, like, Crash 3, where you have the warp room, and then you go into different areas, except with Spyro, the warp room actually has stuff to do in it. Uh, so Town Square, let's go. Filthy Thrank is a throwback. Filthy... Filthy Frank is a throwback. That's a horrible, horrible phrase for someone with a speech impediment like me. <laughs> mm. I'm not a fan of the camera placement either, Hyper. It's definitely very close. One thing I didn't like about the PS1 version of Spyro, and it seems like they've kept it the same in this one, is you have to move the camera yourself. I prefer it to just track me. Uh, and then if I choose to move the camera, then it stops tracking me, you know? But I have to move the camera myself. It's also a very sensitive camera. It's not assessing. Might be. Let me move on. Uh, camera. Oh! Motion blur off. Ugh. Can't stand that. Uh, map! Oh, heck yeah! I've got a map! You look like a nose. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the right stick to get a good look. That's nice. So you said skill points are in the menu. This menu. Skill points. So this is this is new. Okay. Next skill points unlock parts one and two of the art gallery. Oh, it's for the art book. Got you. So will the camera follow me now? No. What's going on then? All dragons are jerks. <laughs> True. Correct me if I'm wrong. That seems to make no difference whatsoever. Uh, <laughs> Bye, chicken. All right. I think they do, at least from memory. Ah, uh, okay. Skill points give lives. Uh, remember having to hit L then L and R. Well, oh, oh, that's a barrel roll. Oh. Ooh. Did not know you could barrel roll in this. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, well done, Brooksy. Oi. Oi. Oh, I remember these. So you got to do that and jump, right? Yeah, there you go. Uh, ooh. Ooh, okay. Wow, this camera is so sensitive. Uh, okay. Not against it. This is very, very sensitive. So can I turn down the sensitivity? No, just got to get good and learn to live with it. That's a life. Okay. Do I plan to 100% the Spyro games? I don't plan on it, but you know what they say about uh, sub-goals. <laughs> They're very fun to do. Right-click. Uh, click the right stick on PS1. Ah. Ooh, nice cake. You get your longest glides by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump. That makes sense. 
Mm, so right clicking the stick does this, which is basically the same as pressing Y. Yeah, it puts you into look mode. Maybe it's. Oh, I. Hmm. Okay. So the charge is uh, difficult to uh, to control. I can hear someone near and airing me. Oh, there he is. Hi. Why are you near and airing me? Wait. Oh, I can just flame breath you. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. You have to catch those guys. They suck. Oh, is it like a chase thing? Uh, okay. Okay, that's good to know. Um, can I get to them from here? Yes, but I have to time it better than that. There you go. I got an achievement. Wait, did he? Ha! Got you. But what was the point? Did he drop something? It looked like he was holding something. I got an egg. Did I? I didn't see it. That laugh drives me nuts. Well, it's gone now. Pause. Oh yeah! I got an egg! Huh? Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna go back over there and collect all the stuff. Uh, but yeah, we can do the standard thing for if you want... Um, if you want 100% completion, then uh, hit a number. I mean, what are we at? Could go for 200. If you want me to 100%. I know you can 100%, but... I never really thought about doing it. Okay. Alright. Do, 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 do. Egg thieves are a holes. That seems about right. Need to get. Oh, to get that lasagna. In this game, it's not 100%, it's 120%. Oh, it's one of those games, is it? It's one of those games. Okay. I see. Right. Oh, Ooh, that's interesting. Let's get rid of you. Oh, okay. Uh, hello. Who are you? Thor! You better have a hammer. No, you don't. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. You can always check your progress by accessing the guidebook in the pause menu. You want a nostalgia tickle, not a 100% tickle. That's fair. That's fair. I've seen that um, one one YouTuber that I watch religiously is Kadikarus. I've seen that he's 100%ed um, it recently, uh, like the 100 and whatever percented it. And then also um, PewDiePie has also recently 100%ed this. To be fair, it's very easy to 100%. I'm guessing it's just collect all the gems and all the eggs and everything. Okay. <clears throat> Boop. Hey, Alvar. Extremely tedious is all. Ah. Welcome back, Sneak. Gems, eggs, dragons. Got ya. I just noticed he has a hot dog on his tail. Uh, how do I check how I'm doing here? Oh, okay, so if I wanted to 100% this level, I'd need nine more gems. Eight more gems. Okay. Oh, oh. Ah, that's right, he eats, the, he eats the butterflies. Okay. Can't wait for the flying levels, you can struggle so much. Yeah, so I quit uh, Spyro 3 when I was a kid because the flying levels sucked so bad. You grab your tablet and help for work. No worries, no worries, no worries, no worries, no worries. Later, Hyper. As far as I can see, I think I got... Where are these last nine? Ah, oh, whatever, let's go. 
gems are different points too, so it might not actually be eight. Oh, I see. I see. Did you miss anything? No, no, I caught my first egg. The flying levels in three were races and other challenges. Ah, yeah. Okay. Why is she shooting me? Is she checkpoints now? Because I know in the original she was a save point. Is she checkpoints now? Makes sense. It's a save. It's a save or it should sa It's a save. Oh, is she saving? Let's go to Stonehill. Hmm. It's a save. Got you, got you, got you, got you, got you. Save slash checkpoint. Got you. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. After I've had a wasabi pee. Home. Ooh. Spicy. Wee. Okay. It's a big sheep. Oh, wasabi pea. Yeah, it's a pea coated in wasabi. A pea coated in wasabi. Yum, right? Okay. Yeah, I had a feeling I shouldn't charge you. Yeah, okay. Hello. You know, what with him having massive horns, I thought maybe charging wouldn't be the best uh, choice. Wasabi peas are snack. Wasabi peas after too many wasabi peas. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I played by Tom Kenny in this, if I remember right. Unfortunately, I don't know names. You'll have to tell me other things that they've done. You got two kilogram lasagna for tea slash dinner. I'm gonna enjoy food tonight. Ooh, two kilogram lasagna? Damn, sneak. Damn. Okay. Hang on. I've just realized something. Have I still got this set as a bloody rerun? Yeah. <laughs> it's not a rerun. <laughs> uh, that might explain some things. Oh, uh, that might actually explain some things. Um, I accidentally uh, had it set so the stream was still a rerun. It's not a rerun, I promise. Um, okay. There's like the tiniest little button. Oh, the, oh, SpongeBob. Oh, this is SpongeBob? Oh, okay. Is that why some messages didn't show up? Ah, uh, maybe. Yeah, there's this tiniest little button when you put in your stream info. Where you can, cl where you have, to, you have to click it if it's a rerun, and I forgot to unclick it because it's all the way at the bottom in there. I wonder if, uh, if there's an achievement for like taking no damage. I'm gonna take damage, but I might. Uh, I'd, I wonder if there's a uh, there's a thing for taking no damage. Spyro is SpongeBob. Spyro is SpongeBob. I'll take that life. Thank you. No, not an achievement. Mm. All the dragons pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. <laughs> now, apparently, that is SpongeBob. Who knew? I mean, dragons. Two more. Okay. You tried to do a no death run, but you know how that ended. Yes, yeah, your no death run didn't go too well, huh, Sneak? Eesh. The dragons talking get annoying after a while. You know, speaking of annoying, uh, right, let me get rid of all these sheep before I start chasing that guy. Or rams, I suppose they are. It's just a, just a male sheep. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me see. 
<coughs> All right. And then this one. Where is Nene Nene Nene? I don't see him. Hmm. I have a sneaking suspicion I need to go up there. Yep, I do. There's gems up there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, hello. <clears throat> Is that Gildas or Gar Glidas? Gildas. Sure. For the longest glide, press the jump button at the top of your jump. And try pressing the action button to drop down mid-flight. Correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't there like a PS2 or PS3 series of Spyro games that are kind of Souls-like, where it's you and a female, it's Spyro and a female dragon, and the bosses are like notoriously hard? Um, there is. Ah, oh, okay. That's fun. Oh, Crash Bandicoot reference! That's fun! Ow. Crash Bandicoot reference with the crystals. Ah. It's called Cinder. Sounds about right, yeah. Because don't forget, Spyro and Crash are the same universe. Spyro and Crash are uh, in the same universe. That's why they've got collab games. Oh, I'm coming for you. Oh, I thought I had him. Oh, I thought I had him. Woo! There were GBA games that were crossovers? Yeah. I remember I had them. There was, uh, it was like Crash Purple and Spyro Orange or something like that, right? They were awful. <laughs> hey, Josh! Have you had a good time with the little one? I had a great time with the little one. Right. So I have a new beginning and the other two. Ah, oh, maybe we'll play those at some point. So I'm just going to look to see if there's any collectibles like this. Your trophy gear, you've platinumed all three of these on PS4. Nice, nice. See, one thing I like that PlayStation and Xbox do is that they carry your achievements over to the next gen console. It's always bugged me that that Nintendo don't have a um, an achievement thing. They don't have achievements. It's always bugged me. Um, it's like, come on, let, let let people get their fix of achievement hunting. You know, <clears throat> one of those games made my brother and I fight so much for the Wii Remote. <laughs> Love it. Oh. Oh, do I have everybody? No, I'm still missing a dragon. Um. Okay. Yeah, I really don't like that Nintendo don't allow achievement hunting. You know. I mean, you can if you make up your own, but there's no like set achievements to hunt for. You know. I was thinking about doing with the first three cra ah, crash games, but some of the trophies are too grindy. That's fair. That's fair. I've 100%ed the one. Of, I think it might be the only game I've 100%ed in my own time is um, is Crash Three. You know what this looks like? It looks like the medieval area um, in Crash Three. Okay. Let me see. Oh, I wonder. Uh, over here. Oh, the only blooming is. Hmm, that didn't go well. Hang on. I'm quite sure how you line up a charge and still miss it. Need a key. Hmm. Okay. Hey, Gavin. <laughs> Gavin. Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. Hmm. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong, like me. Uh, sure. Okay. 
And how would one obtain said key? You know where the key is, if you want help with it. Uh, nah, I'm alright. Okay. That's it. Yeah, let's just go. We've got all the dragons. We're not 100%ing, so let's just let's just go for it. Give it a tip. Now nah, we're all good. We're all good. We're all good. I'm not trying to 100%. Uh, just here to have a good time. So I never paid attention before to the intro where it says about how he's learned how to um, turn gems into minions. So all of those minions that are running around are gems, which explains why when you kill them, you get a gem. Makes sense. Hey, Josh. Welcome back. Legend of Spyro New Begin, Legend of Spyro the Eternal Light, Legend of Spyro Dawn of the Dragon. I've heard they're really good, though. But yeah, Steph, yeah, it was down the hole, yeah. Sorry, I didn't see message. Yeah, it's, uh... Did your message even come through? Yeah, it did. It did. Oh. Okay. Josh, thank you for resubbing. I don't know why I didn't get a ding then. I've said it so I should get a ding. But thank you for resubbing. Uh, okay. Adjusted. <laughs> you had a shield. I'm assuming I have to charge a shield. Um, okay. Ooh. Alright. Aha. Uh -huh. Hmm. Fire. Okay, and then your sh you guys are charged, right? Okay. <clears throat> By the way, the two kilogram lasagna is all for me. <laughs> Dawn of the Dragon is great. Uh, Times up. Nah, no. Nah. Dawn of the Dragon, I I've heard, is good. In fairness. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course, they wouldn't bother me. But here's a hint: their metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Okay. So, one thing that I've heard, because I've seen, I told you, one of the people I watch religiously is Cadicorus, right? Cadicorus uh, did a thing where he went over um, the differences between the old and the new Spyro games, right? So, the, the original trilogy and then this trilogy. And one thing that he pointed out was that the voice lines have been changed. So, apparently... The voice lines in the original trilogy for the dragons are way funnier than they are in this one. You love Dawn of the Dragon? Oh, really? Interesting. Uh, apparently, yeah, apparently the original voice lines are way, way, way funnier. Uh, so I have to keep an eye out for that. Um, to, um, to see if that's the case, if you guys think that's the case. Because I think he said that some of these just don't hit. They're to tone them down for this. It makes sense. Like, I know that they're. Um, Okay, I, the the charging could do with some work, I'm going to be honest. Um, I know that they're re... I think they've said they're remaking Gex the Gecko. Um, and yeah, when I uh, when I heard that they were remaking Gex the Gecko, I, I, I was there going, how on earth are they going to remake Gex the Gecko? Because um, if you're talking about needing a tone down, Gex the Gecko needs a bloody tone down. Uh, this game is your childhood, Phoenix. So good. So good. Um, this will be a major tone out. Yeah. Oh. Well, there goes my no damage run. <laughs> uh, those who don't know, Gex the Gecko is a PR nightmare. Also remastering Croc. Yes, I saw. Because for my schedule, I have Croc 1 and 2 for Retro Month this year. Um, I need one more dragon. Uh... They ha I have a Croc 1 and 2, and then I saw that they're remastering Croc. I was like, oh, do I wait? Do I wait? Um, but they haven't said when, and I can always play Croc again, you know? I can always play the remaster of Croc. Never heard of it. Well, Gex the Gecko. It was uh, very much a uh, M for Mature kind of game. Essentially, it was like it was a super, super spy James Bond-like Gecko called Gex. Um... 
who uh, was, uh, well, let's put it this way, sexist, racist, a little bit of everyist, you know, some f some bics thrown there, some phobics thrown as well. It was, uh, it pushed them to mature to the limit. It really did. It really, really did. It was, uh, it was just, yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, I know what I'm supposed to do, but I can't. That's what I was trying to do. Okay. James Bond is a gecko, yeah. Judge it by Conker's Bad Fur Day. Oh, way worse than Conker's Bad Fur Day. Way worse than Conker's Bad Fur Day. Conker's Bad Fur Day has has been remastered with like not much changed. There we go. That's probably the trick to fly. Ah, there's my final dragon. Okay. A dragon! I've seen a dragon! Was it now, mother? Oh, there's the key. Okay. Yeah, it's 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 bad. Like it's bad for James Bond to gecko. Fair, fair enough. Uh, okay. So yeah, the remastering gex the gecko. Apparently, I, that that's going to be a shell of its former self because there's no way that they can get away with what they got away with uh, in the nineties. There's going to be people uh, pissed that they tone it down. Exactly. You ever play James Pond? No. <laughs> no? What's that? Spyro. Want to know a secret? Use the action button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. <laughs> how's, uh, how's that lasagna treating you, Sneak? How's that lasagna? Oi. While, uh, while I was on, on my two weeks off um, with Bibby, um... M's mum very kindly brought us over a load of meals, like frozen meals. Think, think like you know, like uh, like in, in Friends. Whenever the whenever Joey's mum comes over, she brings him a lasagna, you know. Uh, and M's mum brought us a load of food, and one of the things that she brought was a lasagna. It was so nice. But like, <laughs> M was there, like, uh, so she just started like with a fork, like picking something out of it. Uh, and she went. I see you trying to still trying to sneak mushrooms into my meals, mother. Because Em hates mushrooms, and her mom's put mushrooms in the lasagna to try and sneakily make her eat it. I'm gonna leave those last two gems. Fine, I'll look. I'm not gonna look too hard though. It'll hurt my eyes. Uh. I'm guessing you're one. There you go. Nothing gets past me. <laughs> I'm too fast. I'd catch it. <laughs> Finished the Guardians game this weekend. Is a good. What was that? Light my fire. Oh, okay. That's cool. Um, it's a good amount of stuff you need to do during the credits. Oh, really? Interesting. So, um. I've got uh, the Guardians game uh, on my wish list because it was on Game Pass. I thought I owned it. I don't. Um, but I've added it to my backlog here because I'd like to play it. And especially since you said that Guardians of the Galaxy has a streamer mode so that it gets rid of all the copyrighted music. That's perfect. Because I was thinking Guardians of the Galaxy, the amount of copyrighted music that's going to be in that game is going to be disgusting. What the hell are those? Let me guess, you fill that up and you get a life? It's on PS Plus. Oh, even better. Even better, I'll just do PS Plus then. Wow. Slippery little bugger. Yeah, filling get life. Okay, so much fun. Really enjoyed it. 
Uh, I'm old and was on the Mega Drive. It was a platformer game with the undercover agent. Oh! See, I had the Mega Drive because my uh, my dad had the Mega Drive 1 and 2. Um, but I, uh, I, I didn't really get to play it that much. The only thing I really played on it, I played three things on it. Oh. And he's helping and protecting you. Yeah. Um Spyro gotta feel old. <laughs> Hi Lauren! Congratulations, Lauren, on your baby. How is he? How is he? So cute. So cute. How early was he? Oh. 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 Okay. Chris is Rick Rollier. I'm going to say congrats. Sneak says congrats. Congratulations to you on the baby. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, me. Congratulations, Lauren. Congratulations, everybody who's had a baby recently. What did you win and what's the name? <laughs> I missed those announcements. Oh. 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 Okay. Now what? Oh. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. I was not. I came into this into this realm just reading my chat, not realizing I'm about to have to do this. Okay. Oh no! Why would you give that as an option? Why would diving be an option in a fly? Okay. Why would that be an option? Makes no sense. You make no sense, game. Oh. What's through here? Trouble. Okay. Oh dear. Only 18 seconds to go. Hang about. Oh. Okay. 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 So these levels, don't forget. What made me, um, what made me quit Spyro 3? <laughs> so, in a great sign that I've got to do them here. Do you have to do these levels in order to like complete the game? I'll keep trying, but do you do you have to uh, have to do it? I'm saying these are needed to complete the world. Oh, okay, so these are optional. Okay, so if I can't do them, I can just leave them. Okay. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, well then we're leaving because this is genuine pain. This is genuine pain. Only for 100%. Ah. They tend to have a path at least the next thing. Ah, okay. I see. Okay. Give me one second, because something stupid's happening right now. Okay, so those are optional. That is wonderful to know. Are they optional in every game? He says, hopefully, in 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 vain the vain hope that maybe this will all be optional. Are these all op Are they optional in every game? Kind of hope they are. <laughs> From memory, yes. Oh, thank Christ. Okay, apparently I hit that. Right. Oh. 
Right. Have a butterfly. Okay. So you only need to zoom if you want to hundred percent it. Good to know. Cool. Ooh. They give quite a lot of gems. You might need it in second and third. Oh, okay. So they're optional, but they give a lot of rewards. Hello, Argus. Hi. Dude's just eating a watermelon. You feel you are ready. Blue butterfly's life. <laughs> okay. Are there any more worlds? I've done th three so far. Are there any more worlds? They have a thousand two hundred gems. Oh wow, that is a lot. Okay. There's no more. It's just toasty. Okay. Well, it collects all the gems. Sweet. Okay. Boss number one already. Damn. We've barely been going like an hour. Amazing. Main hub, three worlds, one flight, one boss. Ah, okay. Well, Toasty then. Let's go. Once we defeat Toasty, that's as far as I've ever gotten in Spyro. <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm not joking. The rule applies to most areas. Okay. These games are really so great. They're so good, man. It's it's so nice. Like this is a game that I can definitely see like letting letting my kids play, you know? Like just to chill with. I feel like this is at least at the beginning point, this is easier than Crash. Okay, so the dog needs to be two hit. Good to know. Okay. Okay. We'll do should go back and finish off the worlds uh worlds off to one hundred percent the first stage. No, I'm good, I'm good. There we go. Okay. Hoi. Ooh, double dog. Okay. Oi. Came home and steered dog away from the door. You need 200 kg uh, lasagna in peace. I wonder if your lasagna is 2 kilograms. I don't think you've mentioned, has it? Is, is, your, is your lasagna 2 kilograms? Oh, he got me. Wait. Okay. So I've had two hits so far. Hey, Nevin. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Hmm. Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. Toasty has many tricks up his sleeve. Why are these dragons not doing it? Why are these dragons not doing it themselves? That's what I want to know. Once I've rescued these dragons, why are they not the ones doing it? Wait, seriously? I feel like they did a better reveal of this in the original. Like I said, I've played this in the original. I feel like they did a better reveal of him being a sheep in the uh, in the original. I was kind of a weak source boss, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like he was harder in the original. They had a lazy dragon's shard labor, yeah. You got to mention it's two kilograms. Oh well now I know. I feel like that was um, way, way easier than than the original, but I'm not, I'm not sure. It's been a while since I played the original, and that's as far as I've gone. So, 
Okay. Come here, sheep. That sounds climatic, right? How's that for a first boss? You're definitely taking a nap when you get do it, Dan. You've earned it. You've earned it. Right, let's, uh, it is easy, that's why I said no death run and, uh, failed rage and hate this game. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Hey, can I go to the next place now? That's a voice. You may travel to the peacekeeper's world if you like. I'd like. Are you ready to go? Sure, let's go. It's definitely a voice. Boom! Take a trip with the balloonist. Well, don't boom the balloon. I've got to get places. What game is it that Spyro finally learns how to fly? That's what I want to know. Because he's gliding, right? He's falling with style at the minute. What's the balloonist meant to be? I don't know. I think he's just meant to be a general person. General creature, you know. What, what, what game is it where he finally learns how to fly? Like, fly, fly. A new beginning. Really, takes that long. New be new beginning, isn't that like the fifth or sixth game? Hello. Welcome to Peacekeepers. Look how our treasure has been stolen and turned against oh. us. Please, recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. Got it. Hmm. Technically, gain full flight without the help of flight worlds in Dawn of the Dragon. Ah, okay. Interesting. Wait. Hang on. Have I actually played Spyro 3? Because I thought this was Spyro 3. Huh. I may have done this bit. I think this is where I gave up on uh, Spyro, because I remember seeing this. Hmm, not sure. It's around about here was the last time that I played Spyro, though. Anyway, Dry Canyon. No, your mum was in this game. <laughs> New Beginnings, like number 12. <laughs> it's a Legend of Spyro series that, uh, that you flew without the restrictions. Ah, okay. Entering Dry Canyon. I mean, at least take me on a date first. Come on. Come on, loading screen. You got this. I believe in you. Whee. Okay. Oh, sorry. I assumed I had to breathe fire on that. Wait, did I just get somebody? No. Okay. What's over here? A whore! Ooh, I'm gonna get ya. Oh, I'm gonna get ya. Oh, I nearly had you. I thought I had him then. Got him. Woo! Where's the hawk? Hawk to lady, right? Okay. Uh, this way. Come here, you. Eh. Nice. Boom. Boom. Nice. It's the Legends of Spyro series, which is where you can fly, though. Good to know. Good to know. Oh, well, that works. Can you cook the rabbits? You can. You can. I'm imagining it's what gives you the butterflies in this one. Let me just have a little look. Yeah, that's what gives you the butterflies. Okay. A butterfly. Is that tar? Mm, it looks like it. Okay. Hmm. 
Hoi. Hello, Conan. Hmm. You're welcome. You've got horns coming out of your nose. It's a bit weird. That can't be very, uh, very fun. Okay. Birds. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. That's definitely something you could have done with that bird, yeah. Okay. I remember playing Crash 2 in Spyro 1 on the PS2 and Dev saved my progress never saved. Why would your progress not save? Did you not have a did you not have a PS1 memory card? Is that was that what it was? Okay. I'm pretty sure you needed to have a PS1 memory card if you played on PS2, right? Or my mis uh, misremembering. Ah. Okay. Like, oh, hang on. Was that a dead end I was just on? No, it takes me back. Okay. No, it didn't. Didn't know where it was. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Touch it, you know you want it. No, I don't want it. Bean Boy's just playing uh, the devil on my shoulder today. You are a good glider, eh, Spyro? I was born to glide. <laughs> sure. Sure, sure. Okay. Gotcha. I'll take that, thank you. You had a PS1 somewhere, but you know the, where the memory card was. Ah, uh, that was your issue, right? Gotcha. Okay. Grab all that. Anything over there? Nah. Anything over here? Yes. Okay, hang on. Ah, oh, missed. Hmm. Okay, we'll go back around. It's fine. Okay. Oh. <sighs> right. I sat next to my sister yesterday. I had to legs cross over. At one point, she looked at my shoe. I reached over and pulled the lace just because. Let intrusive. Oh yeah, you gotta let the intrusive thoughts win when you're uh, when you're with a sibling. That's just the way, right? He says as a single child. Um. Okay, I'll come to that later. Let's go down here first. Okay. Remember Spyro being so cocky in this game. I uh, definitely, I definitely remember him being cockier in the in the original. Okay, there we go. But yes, yeah, Spyro is uh, very full of himself. It's the whole thing of him being being young, right? He's, uh, he's full of himself because of his youth. Okay. Come on. Come on, me burb. There we go. Okay. Those damn youths, right? <laughs> hmm. Ah. There you are. He can be just perfect when he wants to be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that you, Spyro? Are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Ever since you were a wee puff of smoke, we've known. Uh, You've known. Ah, uh, I forget. <laughs> okay. That you were the chosen one, Spade. Oh! You were the chosen one. Destined to save the world from the evil clutches of Gnesty Gnork. Uh, okay. Hoi. 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 Mm, I can get higher. Hoi. Okay. 
Oh, well, obviously I'm going there first. Eww. Nice. Okay. Give me that life, please. Thank you. Alexa, place uh, ah, Pirate of the Caraboon. Thank you. <laughs> they talk to each other, but can't get out the crystal and stuff. Uh, no, I think they, they don't talk to each other necessarily. It's just they talk to each other beforehand, I think. Well, that's fun. Ooh, okay. Did Spyro need to beat Cortex in that crossover game? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Um, in the Game Boy one where it was Crash and Spyro swapping swapping worlds, yeah. I think in the I think the original concept was that Spyro and Crash had been like pitted against each other. Oh no, I'm gonna miss. They've been pitted against each other, and then um, and then they then they teamed up, and Spyro took out Cortex, and Crash took out Nasty Nork, I think. Whoa! Okay, the enemies respawn. Good to know. Okay. Right. Wait. Don't stand too close to them. They hurt. Hmm. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, I, I, th I think so. I'm not sure. Why is he just carrying a bomb? Why not? No, oh, why would you run that way? Made it. Nailed it! I don't know if you can hear him. Can you hear Teddy crying at the minute? Can you hear him crying? I don't know if he's coming through. He is downstairs. I just don't know if he's uh, he's coming through. I apologize if you can, but you know, baby's gonna baby. Ugh. Okay. Uh. Oh, that was on the game. Well, you can you actually hear? Him? You should be able to hear him that well. He can. Teddy's a loud one, <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, it's called having a baby. Uh, get used to it. <laughs> he's he's here for good. It, it is what it is. You have a baby. Exactly. Exactly. Exact Mundo. Have I found all the dragons? No, I'm missing one. Okay. Uh, actually, go back this way. Um, we're gonna go over there. Get rid of him, ruin my immersion. <laughs> Banned. <laughs> my most trusted administrator has betrayed me. <laughs> okay. Right. In fairness, he's two weeks old. He's doing really well for being just two weeks old. Um, okay, those rabbits are going for it. He's doing... Oh, there you are. Uh, he's doing really well for being, you know, just being two weeks old. Ooh. Keep forgetting that lasagna is a pasta. It is, yes. Hmm. I feel like I got a little bit... Hey, look, I touched it. I feel like we got a little bit screwed up. Oh, hold on. You shall teach him the ways of the beard as he's officially designated beard father. You are his beard father, this is true. Also. <clears throat> okay. You are definitely the beard father. We're actually discussing about the godparent thing. But you can't really do it unless you're, you know... Unless you're christened, baptized, whatever you want to call it. Um... And Em and I both catch on fire if we set foot in a in a in a holy place. Um spontaneously combust. <laughs> uh, but you can always just have it in your will as to who who they go to, I suppose. I bet you're there, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, right. I need to somehow make this jump. Is there like a better place I could be, maybe? Mm hmm. You can definitely get over there. Real question is, how can I get to this? Am I just messing up the jump? Is that what it is? How am I supposed to make that? And don't say get good. How are you supposed to make that? Oh, hello. Oh, oh, I think that's how. Okay, how do I get a U? So I'm waking in five minutes. Okay.
Hmm. Oh. Oh, oh, I got it. I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Ah! Well, I didn't know that was off the edge, but okay. Right. I think I got it, yeah. I think you go here. Okay. And then... He got it. Amazing. Of course I got it. Of course I got it. Pro streamer. <laughs> I want a key. Okay. You see all these content creators are basically gaslight the audience. Success with women of fortune, getting getting rips. All just needs dedication. Reckon Twit could 100% be the beard version. If your beard isn't thick and luscious, you just don't have faith in yourself, bro. Right? Cool. Where's the chest? Ben, it's over there. It's already decided that does that beard struggle. Really? Did you have to use it? Nah, surely not. Not you with your majestic beard. I've been re-watching Ted Lasso because Ted Lasso's reportedly coming back for a fourth season. And uh, one of my favourite characters in it, Roy Kent, he's got a majestic beard. It's very hard for someone to pull off like a short beard and to still make it look full. Um, but the guy who plays Roy Kent... When you flew over the big gap. Oh. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's over here, yeah. Yeah, it's there. Okay. Hoi. Hoi. He's here. He's there. He's every effing where Roy can't. <laughs> Apparently, um, so far, the only person who reportedly can't come back for a... Uh, a fourth season is the guy who plays Jamie because he's already got a commitment for another thing um but yeah woohoo 400 baby to the end baby okay Do, 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 do. Hey Aaron, I'm good. How are you, buddy? How are you? Okay. So back this way. Back home. We're done. Wrap it up, lads. Ladettes. Lovers. We're done. Oh. oh bonk. Some spirals they hey. Yeah. Oh, my coffee's gone. Oh, well. Oh. Well, I think after 100 in that level, I deserve a wasabi pee, quite frankly. Uh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> what a kick. I adore wasabi. Okay. Okay. That's a lot of rabbits, not gonna lie. Okay, so we've done Dry Canyon. Your mum was very pleased. Okay. What's this? Hmm. Okay. What's this one? Cliff Town. Okay. Spoil yourself, have two. Ooh. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Mm. <laughs> oh wow! Over a thousand gems already. God, we're bossing this. Okay. How many worlds are there in Spyro One? Because according to the ever trusty website I want to beat, it thought I could beat this in one stream. So, um, how many worlds are there? 
Because this is world two. The six? Hmm. Fair enough. Ooh. You can beat it in one stream. I'll go. Mm, it's not a problem if I don't. It's just that's the that's what it guesstimated. Oh look, it's the thing that killed the IT guy in uh, in Jurassic Park. But miniature, because that's how big they should be. You know, in Jurassic Park, the <laughs> thing. That's how big they should be. <laughs> or, to quote Ross, in my mind, it goes something like... <laughs> okay. Dilophosaurus, yeah, that one. Uh, this one. I hear you, but I do not yet see you. There you are. Interesting. Hmm. Velociraptors had feathers. Most of them had feathers, didn't they? Hey, Diva. Thank you. Miss Nedry probably didn't deserve that kind of death, but eh, yeah. You're not. Charge it. <clears throat> Why is that only just telling me now? So I feel like the Nair 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 guy, I can probably get him by jumping down on him. So I'm going to try and do that. Yeah. Dragon tips are weird in this. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh... Right, give me the gem. Thank you. You're in Australia right now. Ooh, Diva's invaded invaded the uh, the Australian lands. I see. Okay, you go, Diva. Okay. Okay. Right, the nan 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 guy is just over there. Okay. I imagine I can go higher before I do that. Wait. Okay. <laughs> Better watch out, right? Oh, my legs. You're being invaded. You're being invaded. Alright, so Nana and Lana is over here. Oh, how did that not get him? Oh, so annoying. Oh yeah, what part of Australia are you in? Because isn't it basically like you're around the edge and then there's like nothing in the middle? Is is that how Australia works? <clears throat> that's how uh, that's how it's explained to me. It's like everyone's on the coast in Australia and then the middle's kind of got nothing in it. Wait. 
that's how Greenland works. <laughs> Alice Springs is in the middle. Oh, okay, so not completely like that then. Okay. Uh, and a big rock. There's a big rock. Yeah, there's a big rock. Uh, oh, interesting. I'll take all that. Thank you. And uh, over here, and over here, and over here. And then... I suppose I should probably go get that. I've also just seen those two gems I missed, so I'll go grab those. Ooh, I was lucky. <clears throat> okay, so I've missed these two gems over here. Basically, the middle area is empty or farming land. Yeah, that makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. So I can't get there. I'm guessing I have to fly over from up there. Back, mum gave you money because you uh, because she drank my alcohol. Oh no! Oh no! She drank your alcohol. Um. Oh, hang on. Give me that. Give me that. Okay. Uh, oh, a life. I need one of those. Amazing. Right. That's a lot of birds, but okay. Oh, I made that! Oh, that's bull! I made that! You have a child, you have no life. This is true. He is my life. He is my life now. Alright. Cool. Come here, bird. Okay. Uh... Oh, wait, what? How did I not hit you? Yeah, whatever. Uh, come on, bird. There we go. And then this one. He said, but now I'm 400 pounds down and uh, down to buy my PS5 so we can get off mine. <laughs> yeah, I am aware that eventually all of these consoles I'm streaming with are going to end up being played by him. It's fine. I accept it. I already fully intend to have him playing on like one of my older consoles. I don't know if it'll maybe be the PS1. I think it might be a little bit too old for him. Um, but I'll definitely let him let him play on something. A river cause of death, so yeah, the river can be hard to land. The platform isn't as a business crash, but it can be ass. Mm. <coughs> All dragons found. Uh. You actually kidding me? Oh my god, the edges of these areas are so ridiculous. Okay, that so that's my first so far about this game because the <clears throat> my first genuine complaint is how slippery the edges are. Like, there's no there's no um, forgiveness with it. Whirlwind was at uh, was at the wall. Okay. There's no forgiveness with this. Oh, I see. I can do this now. Okay. I see. Yeah, there's no mercy with these jumps. Okay. Is that all the gems? All right. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. There's 80 more? How are there 80 more? <laughs> Have I found every... I found all the dragons. Oh, I need the key, don't I? I need the key. Um, do I have the key? No. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, no key this level, but there's a box. There, there is a key because there's a chest over there that I couldn't open. Oh, they're at the exit. I got you. There was a chest I couldn't open. Or did I just not hit it properly? Maybe just didn't hit it properly. Hmm. Okay. Thirty-five more. Are you kidding? Hmm. It's gonna be hidden somewhere. Fireworks. Ah, the fireworks. Right. <clears throat> okay. Whatever. We're not 100 percenting It's fine. As long as we get all the dragons, we're safe. I don't get Wasabi P though, because I didn't 100 percent level. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, hello, fellas. How you doing? Okay. So there's the balloon. There's a dragon. Okay. Have I done two or three areas yet? I think I've done three now, right? I think I've done three. Yeah, it's pretty good. Why am I being told that now? As such, two. Okay. They just showed me their posteriors. One more main level. And I'm guessing there's a flying level. Oh, uh, it's going to be that. Right, okay. Uh, ooh. Hang on. Ice cavern. Then what's this? Oh, that's the boss. Oh, okay. I see. I mean, paint a target, I've got to hit it, right? Okay. Oh. Okay, and boom, 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 boom. So I'm not used to the idea of actively picking up lives rather than collecting a certain amount of things and then you get a life. Um, it's a very strange thing because I'm, I'm so used to the crash method, right? Where you collect X amount of lives and then you can... Um, X amount of... Sorry, X amount of... Uh, Wumper. And then you get a life. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ah, this unlocks a flying level. Gotcha. Okay. So the flying levels are optional unless you want to 100% it, I remember you saying. Oof, that nearly got me. That was easy. <clears throat> One of your favorite games, Reaper. Nice. I'm guessing that's for the chest that I can't hit. There we go. Hello. Who dis? 
Gunner. Okay. Hi, Gunner. They're not apples. Yeah, they're Wumper Fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good work, and I know you fulfill your destiny. Destiny? I just want to kick some. Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure. Okay. All dragons found. Good, 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 good. Okay. <clears throat> Let's um, grab these couple of gems here that I missed. Oh, my bag of life. Sweet. I wondered when I'd get one of those. There we are. Okay. Uh, this chest here, I believe, is the one that needs the key. It's not? Oh. Well, then how do I get it? There's no cannon. Hmm. Oh, can I do that now? Maybe I can do that. Hang on. Hi! What's up, Dreamer? You love Spyro? So good, right? <clears throat> Welcome to Retro Month, huh? Okay, I bet I can use this, can't I? No, I can't. Hmm. What's over there? This game does a great job of making you want to explore. Um, okay. Anyway, let's go to that final level. It was your main childhood game. See, I was a crash. <clears throat> I was a crash kid. I wasn't a Spyro kid. I had Spyro, but I didn't really get into it. I loved Crash. I feel like if you were a PlayStation kid, it was either Spyro or Crash was your favorite. Um, you probably liked the other one, but it was either Spyro or Crash. Personally, I was Crash. That uh, and the Chronicles of Narnia on DS. Ah, Crash for you, Aaron. Nice, nice. See, I, I never played Chronicles of Narnia. I never really got into Narnia. It was one of the, one of the few things I never really got into. And Croc. Uh, I feel like Croc is one of like the underappreciated ones. We're playing Croc as well this month, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I feel like Croc is one of those like they try to make it like the third, the third sort of like mascot of the of the thing. Like you know, so you'd have Crash, Spyro, and Croc. But Croc just really didn't take off as much as Crash and Spyro did. You'll be watching that one. Do it. Spyro is yours, Reaper. Nice. We were broke when I was younger. Uh, all I had was the DS and some games on it, so I played Spyro in the DS. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Remember playing Croc? Mm. <laughs> nothing wrong with that at all. I uh, I distinctly remember because I, I I've got a PS One collection back there now, which I've exclusively collected as an adult. I think um, I got my mum to like let me into the take whatever you want to call it um, when I uh, when I went home a few years ago because I wanted to get the PS1 games I had as a kid out. There were like six because um, my family were very much a like, you know, you, you, you get it for your birthday or Christmas. Those were the, that's how you get new games, birthday or Christmas. So I'd get maybe one or two games, if that, a year, you know. Um, and, you know, when I was uh, growing up, I had a Game Boy and I had PS1. And so I had to decide, do I want the new Pokemon game? Or do I want the new Crash game? Or whatever, you know. All I had were the Spyro trilogy, the Crash trilogy, so that's six. I had Mickey's Wild Adventure, Scooby-Doo the Cyber Chase, and Final Fantasy 7, so I had nine games. Very slippery. Hmm. Didn't get a PlayStation until the PS3 came out. I uh, played a little bit of Planet, nice, all the time. I was definitely a Legend of Zelda kid. That's fair, that's fair. Um, yeah, like I said, I didn't really get the opportunity to, to play a lot of games as a kid, so I'm trying to do them now. Hmm, that's interesting. How am I meant to get you? Also, I don't think I have no haven't noticed that these are the gems that you collect in Crash. They're literally the exact same gems. So I guess the uh, dragons have control over all the crystals except for the ones that Cortex and Crash get. Get Spyro versus Crash. Yeah, I remember the Spyro versus Crash. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Cool. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to playing through like some of the games because like next year, like I said, we got backlog year, which is all the games that I have on my backlog that I've never. Basically, if you don't know what backlog means, because uh, I know one or two of you have said, "What? Well, what do you mean backlog?" Um, basically, it's games that I own that I've never managed to play. Um, so basically, all the games that I've ever wanted to play that I own, we're going to be working our way through them next year, old and new. Uh, so I'm looking forward to playing through a lot of stuff that I never got to play as a kid. There was Russian Clank and Jack and Daxter on the PS2, yeah. Jack and Daxter and uh, Russian Clank were PS2. Jack and Daxter was the Crash Bandicoot people. Naughty Dog have just had hit after hit after hit. Because Naughty Dog did Crash, then they did Jack and Daxter, then they did Uncharted, and then they did The Last of Us. Talk about hit after hit. Mario vs. Sonic, the number games, I never got to play that. I wasn't really a wee kid. But yeah, I've never played Jack and Daxter. Oh, oh no! See what I mean about unforgiving? The edges are so unforgiving. Massive games. Mm hmm. Okay. I mean, I only got the DS and the Wii U, my mum, uh, and the PS3. My mum worked two jobs for a whole year. Bless. So, I uh, I remember getting the Wii um, one Christmas because uh, my parents were separated and my dad uh, wasn't really paying child support. And then, um, at one point, I think it was like a week or two before before Christmas, he just basically dropped off a load of load of cash. It's basically like a, a backlog of all the uh, child support he should have been giving. Um, and so my mom just went right, get in the car. She took me to Tesco and bought me the Wii along with Mario Kart. Uh, and I think I think Wii Sports came with it. Uh, so I had Wii Sports. I have Mario Kart, uh, and uh, yeah, we just uh, we just played it. We just played played on the Wii. So I got a Wii too. Oh really? Okay, that's interesting. Okay, hello. Sly Raccoon is another. Again, this one I'm looking forward to playing, but I've never played it. Thanks for freeing me, Spyro. And now, where was I? Play Sly Cooper once is very fun. It's a fun game. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing it. I'm looking forward to playing it. Uh, okay, it's clearly more to do so let's go over here next how many more wow one more okay there's five in this area that's a lot okay oh hello bye i'm guessing is at the end of here nope oh you're on skis i see right hmm Okay. Guessing the last dragon is at the end of this tunnel. And then these are the guys that I could hear. There we go. Why are dragons just magically on stands? I don't know. Good question. I don't know if I can get those gems or if they're just decorative. Okay. Oh, I got an achievement. Triathlon. Defeat all three skiing norks. Oh, that's fun. Bye bye. Oh, you didn't fall. Bye bye. You charge the poles. Oh, really? Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Hang on. Oh, I have to go back and get the others. Okay. Got to get that wasabi P prize, you know. <laughs> well, uh, I have all main PlayStation consoles. Uh, kids love playing my old games. Uh, I did the same thing, but only recently. I had a PS1 and a PS2 growing up. I sold them before I went abroad because I needed the money. Uh, I got the PS1 and PS2 again when I came back. I, I got a PS3, but it doesn't really work. And I have a PS4. Some dragons thought 
I don't have PS5 though. To achieve your destiny! Fate, destiny, a horse. Okay. Uh, this way. Thank you for that tip, by the way, Sneak. Now I know I need to charge the poles. Okay. Uh... Right. Let's go look for the rest of those poles. Mom bought me a PS3 uh, for Christmas back in 2010 and it's still going strong. Nice. I think the PS3 still works. It's just... Um, I, I can't get the controllers to connect to it. I don't know why. Okay, so there's clearly a few things left to get. I just don't know how to get to them. Uh... Okay, there's a jump point over there with a key. It's interesting. Is there anything over here? No. Okay. Brother and answer returned. Hey, you what up, Chris? Okay. This way. <laughs> I'm sad to say I've every console since the Commodore 64. Since the Commodore 64? Damn. Look at you. Look at you. Okay, and then up, and then up. Okay, so I need to get over to there somehow. Uh. Here's the original ones that I found. Ooh, I don't think I can reach that, but it's worth a try. Oh, I can, because I'm a legend. Okay. Right, now how do I get up there? That's the next question. I need to get uh well, I had to do the same. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I might have to get a wide controller. No, this way. Okay, so we go around here. I'm guessing it's over here. I don't know. Aaron, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Uh also, I don't know if I thanked Apollon. Apollon, if I didn't thank you, thank you for resubbing as well. Can't remember if I thanked you. Didn't know you sub ended. <laughs> Wonder where Eevee Ball was. Ah. Yeah, thank you to everybody who's become a sub on Twitch or a member on YouTube while I've uh, today and while I've been away. It's really, it's really, really nice of you. Um, I'll be getting back to putting up um, early access stuff soon. Uh, I already put Slay the Spire up. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood is up. I just need to make a thumbnail for it. Hmm. Okay, so I'm I'm lost, but oh, well, whatever. I found all the dragons. Let's just go. Let's just go. PS3 wireless connection for controllers didn't hold up the test. Hold the test time. Ah, well, one got a PlayStation. Um, and I was playing Resident Evil, Silent Hill, a game called Naughty Bear. I remember Naughty Bear. Uh, Uncharted, Little Big Planet, Dead Rising 2, and Infamous. Nice streamer. Nice. No, I uh, I remember Naughty Bear. That was wasn't that like a like a stuff bear that was. It was, wasn't it? It's like a like a, a stuffed bear or something. Doctor Shemp. Hmm. Okay. Will 2 boss, let's go! Yeah, it's weird, I remember that. Can't wait for Assassin's Creed Shadows. I can't wait to keep uh, keep working our way through the through the series. We stopped at Black Flag because we ran out of time for Assassin Month. I uh, can't wait to keep playing. You like a lot of zombie games, that's fair, that's fair. Didn't know you could do that. Okay. What's Naughty Bear? Uh, it's a game. It wasn't massively Please. popular, uh, but I remember it. Now that... Now that it's been mentioned, I do remember it. 
Okay. It wasn't a hugely successful game. Noi Bear's awesome. Oh, you remember, Aaron? It wasn't very, very successful. Um, but it was fun from what I remember. Oh, look at Eclipse. I'm not supposed to look directly at them. Oh, well. Hmm. Okay. Sure. Hello. Around here. Up, I guess. Or dragon, okay. Oh, stopping's a little harder than I remember it being. Okay. You hate Shadows is getting... Uh, the hate that Shadows is getting for the main characters is hilarious. Oh, you mean the historically accurate uh, only black samurai? <laughs> the one, the one, uh, the one samurai who was uh, Japanese, essentially. Soft bear murdering other bears in very violent ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Low back's killing you today. Ah, oh, it's a shame. So cool. you don't know what it's been like listening to him over and yeah, I can't remember his name. One thing, he should watch his back. No, he bears the, uh, the only bear on Perfection Island who's not invited to Daddy's birthday party who tries to be nice to him to end up going on a killing spree. I mean, if that ain't game of the year, I don't know what is. Hi, Champ, how you doing? Toast him in the booty! Okay, so you have to toast him in the booty. Okay, and he moves over there. Okay. It's fair enough. Ugh. That's how. Okay. He's still looks hurt. I don't know why. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it was that two kilogram of lasagna. Okay, up we go. What are you going to do this time? Nice. Okay. Um, let's go grab all the stuff, I guess. Any thoughts on the new Star Wars game? Uh, uh, from what I've seen, it doesn't justify the 100 plus pre order thing. Um, I've not played it, but I've seen a lot of people playing it. Uh, it looks iffy, to say the least. Um, Star Wars Outlaws is what they're on about, by the way. Um, See, without playing a game, I don't want to judge it, but I have seen people playing it, and it does not look like it's running very well. Um, I know... You know that whole, like, pay a hundred and something, and you can play it, like, three days early sort of thing? All of those people have been screwed, because there was a game-breaking bug that had to be patched, and in order for the patch to work, uh, the people who got it early uh, have had to restart their games. Their save files have become corrupted. So I bet they're glad that they paid a hundred something dollars in order to play it a few days early just to have to restart. I bet they're really thrilled about that. MJ missions in space the game. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Overall I'd say it's probably uh, not the best uh, new game release that uh, has ever been pulled off but it's... Uh, yeah. Don't worry. Uh, they got an in-game trinket and some loyalty points as an apology. <laughs> Just hope they bloody did. I would have hoped they got a refund, but you know they're not going to do that, are they? You love Noibert. I may have to. I may. Have
it's my it's my backlog. We'll try and get hold of a copy or something. I forgot Naughty Bear existed, honestly. Where's my balloonist? There he is. I can't believe how fast you found so much stolen treasure. I know, right? Hop aboard for the Magic Crafters World if you're ready. Let's go. Well, I used to play Naughty Bear all the time when I was like six. Oh, really? Nice. It's making my mouth feel happiness. I should stop eating and get ready to sleep soon. I mean, why sleep when you can have more lasagna sneak? That's the real question. Uh, but hi, Tom. Sorry I didn't see your message, buddy. Uh, we're good. We're good. Are you excited about mini Do? Yeah, he's, he's downstairs either sleeping or crying or eating or pooping. One of those. <laughs> Wait, how did I land on a balloon just for a balloon to be over there? Oh my god, balloonception. Okay. How old is he? Uh, two weeks today. Two weeks today. That was mean, putting water there. Oh. I think I've put you in the perfect position to get you now, though. Yeah, I bet I have. Hello. Oh, okay, you're a bad guy. Couldn't tell. It's like, what are you gonna do? Anything or no? Oh no, Sparks dead. No, Sparks. What's his name? Uh, Theodore or Teddy. Welcome to Magic Crafters. Thank you. I want you to release the dragons. Release How's Diaper Choosy? It's fun. <laughs> it's not slightest. Brother owns the Wi-Fi here, and he's wanted to download Cyberpunk. Oh, Cyberpunk's on my backlog. Backlog. Hey, he came back. Got ya. Sucks to be you. Cute. I know, right? Line them up. Okay. Wait. He's dropped by twice already today while Em's uh, come upstairs to uh, nappy change. There you go. So I've uh, definitely never played this part of the game. I have no idea what's going on here. I've, I've legitimately, like, all of this is brand new to me. I have never seen these guys before in my life. How did that happen? Okay. What's backlog? Uh, backlog is games that I own that I've not gone around to playing. Yeah, imagine like if you've got books that you still need to read. Okay, it's games I still need to play. Uh, so yeah, next year we're uh, we're playing through my backlog. But all the games that I've wanted to play but I've not had the the time or the chance to yet. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that. Uh, let's do Alpine Ridge while we're here. The top of the treasure chest him. Oh, the top of the treasure chest him. That sucks. Save. Uh, thank you. Thank you for redeeming the save. Um, you, it saves automatically when I free a dragon, so that'll be the next time it saves. But yeah, basically the backlog is uh, all the games I've wanted to play that I own, that I've uh, not gone around to playing. Uh, I got a game yesterday that I've been meaning to get for a while that's been added to the list, because uh, it was reduced from £50 down to £9.99. It's, uh, I think it's called Steel Smith or something like that. Basically, think Fra uh, Revolutionary France, but with steampunk and you and like Souls-like elements. Interesting. Aha. Uh -huh. How's the dog over Teddy? Loves him. Loves him. I see, you're a pancake. Oh, and I died from that because I had no sparks left. You love spirals, so how does it uh, feel? Uh, why does it feel like you attract fatherless people? As in, like, people who don't have a dad? Um, I just, I think, I think it... 
this point in uh, history or whatever, it's pretty common to be in a single parent household. I think it's just quite common to be uh, to be in a single parent parent household. I don't think I attract them. I think it's just a large percentage of people don't have uh, more than one parent. Okay. Ow. He's good that. Here we go. Ah, nice. Okay. Uh Oh, you're getting close, Reaper. You're getting close to that to that VIP. Look at you go. Okay. Hello, Zane. This will save it for me, so there's your redeem. Sorry? Of course not. Oh good. I didn't think so. Yeah, I don't think it's ins insensitive. I think um I don't think it's insensitive, insensitive necessarily. Um, it's an odd statement, to be sure, but I don't think it's insensitive. It'd be insensitive to make fun of someone for not having a father or having a mother. But there were quite a lot of us just then that said we don't have one, for various reasons. Okay. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, a name. Obviously, come here. Uh, yeah, I'm live on multiple platforms at the moment. Okay. Hello. I like oh, money. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, now I have, uh, I have my, uh, my eggs in multiple baskets. Uh, I have a TikTok channel. I have, technically, I have an Instagram, but I never use it. Uh, I have a TikTok channel, I have a YouTube channel, I have a Twitch channel, I have all sorts. Do sound like Mr. Krabs? A little bit. <laughs> Hello, I like money. Why did that sound not play? I don't know why that sound didn't play. Had to be done. Did it come through? That was Mr. Krabs then. If, if, if you just heard Mr. Krabs, it was Mr. Krabs. You heard it? Okay, I just didn't hear it. Okay, cool. There we go. Uh, let me see. Oops. Okay, so there's the exit. So I don't need to go there just yet. He's feeding him Wumpa fruit. Oh, that's fun. That's a nice crash reference. Hmm, not quite sure why that took so long, but uh, I have a father, I have five siblings, and none of them have dads either. Uh, see, it's more common than you think. More common than you think. No wrong, I, I had a father. <laughs> He's just died. Uh, that's what happens when you go through life, people start dying. Uh, have I got... Oh, I'm missing one still. Hmm. Okay. Uh... Ah, uh, I left you know. Great work, Spyro. If you keep He's got crystal wings, that's interesting. Christ, dude, I chose on my pass there. You're welcome. I had to reopen stream, I was lagging. Oof. Gotta hate that lag. Okay, we've got stuff over there that we can probably glide to. What's over here? Oh, well, that's definitely a thing. Okay. Um, that's either where I started, or it's a side thing. Ah, is that an egg thief? 
No, but it is a person, which implies I've not been there yet. So let's... Let's try and grab... That. Oh, crumbs. It's alright. Checkpoint was where I died. Was where I jumped. Gotta be careful. Both parents had heart attacks. I'm pretty sure it puts you in great danger of them. Uh, maybe. It might be based on why they had heart attacks. So, I don't know. I don't know enough about the human body. Oh, hello. A lot of egg guys in this one. Oh, just, wait, there's just the one. Oh. Oh, nearly. How did I not get this? Okay, hang on. Hmm. The problem is you have to breathe fire on him. Ah, oh, no, it doesn't work. I thought maybe I could get him that way, but no. Oh, I thought I had him there. Okay. Got him. Whew. Yours, mum's was from smoking, dad's was from... I don't know what that means, but yeah. Round and round. <laughs> All right. Maybe now they're playing. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Whew. I don't know what that means. Okay. I don't know what it means either. Okay, what's this? Hey, Kelvin. You got an infamous machine for me? Remember that these blue thieves have stolen eggs outside the Magic Crafters world as well. Don't worry. I'll take care of them. Ah. All dragon sound. Okay. Oh, I can't get there either. Really? Okay. That's annoying. Oh, I see. Uh, okay. Well, meh, whatever. Let's see. This way. We got all the dragons. We got an egg. It's always nice. Let's head on back. Obvious nerd dragon, right? Oh, hello. I'll take a life, why not? Oh, that hurts you. Okay, well, I mean, it makes sense. It's an explosion, but okay. Okay. Hoi, 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 hoi. Oh. So I heard a screech and I looked behind me and Teddy's coming up to have his nappy changed. I apologize for any screaming you're about to hear. Hello, he's so cute. <laughs> he's very cute. Okay. What am I doing with my life? Uh... Right, we're going up here. There's an egg thief, that's fun. Interesting they follow you. Okay, there's one. Sound like he almost laughed at one point. Uh, he is smiling. Um, he is smiling now, which is a little earlier than is expected. Uh, they're not supposed to smile until about a month old. Uh, and he's smiling already, which is very cute. Um, but yeah, he, he's not really laughing yet. Not really laughing just yet. But he's, he's, he's getting there. Okay. Hmm. 
Oh, I thought I had you. Got you. Okay. So he finds his voice, right? No worries, Sneak, no worries. Uh, you always have a, a, a crack that smiles back. <laughs> Honestly. But yes, he does smile. Overachieving two weeks old. Alright, Teddy, calm down. Leave some success for the rest of us, right? Oh. Oh. Mm, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. But first things first. High caves. High caves. Ooh. But yes, Teddy is very cute. He's going to get all the girls, boys, or whatever he's interested in. Whatever he has been born to love. He's going to get all of them. Let's hope he has a rabbit's foot. <laughs> it's a stodgy reference for those who uh, managed to pick up on that. <clears throat> Any day now. There we go. Whee! Oh, is it a flying level? Better not be. No, we're good. Okay. Fun. Huh. Anyway, what's this way? Okay, so spider warning for those who don't like spiders. What the hell? Uh, can someone tell me what you're going to do here? <laughs> Fan be thankful he wasn't born on Friday the 13th. No, it was Monday the 19th. <laughs> if Teddo. Uh, it feels good to be back, honestly. Okay. Okay. New kid born on Friday the 13th and his idiotic parents named him Jason. Are you serious? They named him Jason? Shit, they're just asking for trouble. Uh -huh. Whoa. Okay. Cool. Boom. <clears throat> Please do something about these green druids. Hmm. They insist on moving everything in sight. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Where was that? Was there stuff behind that? No, I got it. Not quite sure how to get rid of that spider. Um, I'm sure there'll be a way that just hasn't been revealed to me yet. Oh, I was wondering if something happens if I stand on that, but apparently not. Um, oh. Hi. Hello, ladies. How you doing? Are you just gonna follow me? That's nice. Hi. Hmm. Dragon in the next world will tell you. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I hate those bugs. Ah, there you go. When I become big and strong like you, I'll squash them all. Until then, remember that supercharge makes you invincible. Right. Okay. So I have to supercharge them. Right, got ya. Hmm. Not quite sure how I missed both of those, but I did. One I could understand, but no. No worries, Reaper, no worries. Can I...
Hmm, maybe supercharge and spin my way around. Would that work? So if I do this. Yeah, I've got to do that, but I've got to be pretty good with my turn. Okay. You kidding, by the way? No, I, no, no, no. I, I picked up on that. It's not invincible for me to be attacked by anyone. Boink. Amazing. That's how you do it. Okay. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. Uh. Ooh. Uh, the man of a do. Okay, there's a load of stuff over there. Is there more? What's over here? A lot of other things. Okay. So be careful of that spider. So let's go this way instead. Ah, oh, it's, it's, it's not invincible for be attacked by anyone. Ma -na 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 -na. How about that? Is that better? It's not invincible from being hugged by anyone. Ma -na 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 -na. Better? Okay. Okay, keep it going. Got him. Okay. My god, I've got to get all of them. Ridiculous. Yeah, that, uh, <laughs> it works funnier. Yeah, yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. Okay. Um, let me see. Up here. Boom. Gem. And then I guess I have to do a supercharge again. But this time I have to go and get that one that's all the way down there. Okay, let me just do that. There we go. I'm old, I'm getting arthritis, clearly. Okay. This way, and then this way. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Met someone the other day who uh, was an agoraphobic claustrophobic. Agoraphobic claustrophobic. So they're just scared. Is what you're saying. They're just scared. They're scared of outdoors and indoors. They're they're just scared. Is there like a sweet spot? Like this is the perfect sized room. It's it's got th it's got three walls, but uh, uh, you know maybe like a, a skylight or something. How are you gonna be an agoraphobic claustrophobe? That's just too many things. There we go. Probably. Hmm. You don't know what it is. Agoraphobia is uh, afraid of the outside. Claustrophobia is afraid of tight spaces, large spaces and small spaces. So there's got to be a sweet spot, right? If this, if they're scared of large spaces and small spaces, it's got to be that uh, sweet spot. There's people outside. Um, so that's a lot of what uh, agoraphobia is, for what I know. Oh. There's an actual fairy fairy over there. That's interesting. I'll absolutely do one game. The merciless hitboxing, I swear. And now they're back, aren't they? I oh, know, that's just glitched. Okay. Go for is mainly just afraid of bad things happening if you walk outside. Ah, I see. I see. I remember I did um because obviously I I did teaching you speaks other languages, but I had a random choice of what um what language I did and the university I went to was Japanese, so I had to learn about Japanese culture as well. So one of my one of my electives was uh, well not electives, one of my required subjects was um, Japanese culture. We had to do presentations on things that are unique to Japan, um, and uh, a friend and I did it on um, don't know if people know it. Neets N E E T. Um, it's essentially. People who have rejected society, essentially, um, but because of like fear, um, it was really interesting. It was really, really interesting. But basically, there's a, there's an anime called Welcome to the NHK, um, which deals with it. Um, where am I going to go when I'm done here? I guess I'll go here. Okay. Oh, thank you. 
Aw, that's nice of you. Um, what's the NHK? I don't know. It just says welcome to the NHK. Um, but basically, uh, for lack of a better better way of putting it, they're afraid of the judgments of Okay. So if you're putting me here, does that mean I need to... No. Okay. That's not going to reach. How are you meant to make this? But basically, um, it's called... A niece is not... Not in education, employment, or training, I believe is what it, what it stands for. Essentially. Not in education, employment, or training. From the one on the left, fly across. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not in education, employment, or training. Basically, they they live in their apartment or their family home or whatever. They don't go outside unless it's, like, nighttime or there's less people around or whatever. Um, like, think of agoraphobia, but dialed up to, like, a bajillion. Ah, I made it that time. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a hard one. Oh, I thought I had him then. Ooh. But it's really bad. Really bad. Welcome to the NHK does a really good job of showing it. It's basically a, it's a unique to Japan, like, sort of like epidemic that's going on. Where more and more young people are rejecting societal norms or whatever by refusing to go to work or school or whatever and they're just staying at home they'll maybe earn money through online work or they'll uh, get get stuff from the parents and stuff like that sounds like social anxiety yeah it's basically very extreme social anxiety yeah I'll go Thank you. Look at all those eggies. Right. Two. Okay, so I'm missing somebody here. Oh, hang about. Oh, I can just charge that. Okay. Oh, thanks. They're nice. I've had social anxi uh, anxiety post COVID. A lot of people have. It's a uh, it's a big thing. Okay, maybe I do have to jump. Hey, it's a learning. It's a learning curve. There you go. Hi. What's up, Cedric? I'm on a gamer. Try combining your supercharge with jumping and gliding, and really explore the high cave. Nah, I'm good. I found all the dragons. I'm going to go home. Okay. Launch the other side yet? No, I have now. It's difficult, man. It's difficult. Life life is difficult. There's, there's no point denying it. Life is a challenge sometimes. It just is. It's, it's stupid to say it, isn't it? So I understand why people struggle. No. We all struggle at some point. Okay. I did a posture check. Yeah, my posture is perfectly fine. But thank you. Thank you for that posture check. Okay. We'll go down here. Ah. Crystal flight. Hmm. Life's a roller coaster, you just gotta ride it. <laughs> Alright, Rodan Keen, calm down. Flipendo! I remember when I was a young dragon, earning my wings. Learn to fly. Got it. Hmm. Okay.
What's over here? People. Okay. Interesting. Oh, got ya. Pink doesn't have my back pain, so I think I can go home. Oh, I would. If you've got that bad of a back, just go home, man. You have a physical job. You can't do a physical job if your back's uh, hurting. Wizard's Peak. You have autism. I can't people that well. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. Oh, that was probably hit hard. Okay. Let's go this way first. <laughs> Doesn't Sparks talk eventually? In one of the Spyro, Sparks starts talking. Even painkillers shop. That's fair. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, I missed that. Okay, so I guess I go back. Well. In the third one, that's when she talks. Oh, Sparks is a girl? That's fun. Okay. Okay. Is this live? <laughs> yes, perhaps it is, yes. Hi. I know, I've been away for a while, I'm sorry. <laughs> I am back, yeah. I am back. It's been 84 years! Don't say no, Hyper. God's sake. Only Hyper would do that. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, spied you. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Oh, just made that. Okay. You autism way too much. Are there degrees to which you can autism? Okay. Let me, uh, let's see. It's also front, left, and right. Mm, I am. I am. It's true. Uh, okay. Let me try something here. Probably stupid, but I want to try it. I feel like you jump higher by just doing a regular jump. Hey. <laughs> oh, okay, Potato. No worries, no worries, no worries. Enjoy your sleep. Enjoy your sleep. You've been awake way too long. Awake way, way too long. Okay. I hear a dragon. I'm guessing it's in the cave. Right. This is already going to fail, I can tell. They played themselves. Okay. Back to the beginning we go. Not that way. No, apparently not. Interesting. Wait, how'd that hit me? Kind of feels like our first nutter there, I'm going to be honest. 
What do you reckon? Is that our first nutter? Is that our first nutter? The fact that that hit me? Mm, no. Mm, it's just a hitboxing issue, really, isn't it? It's probably just hitboxing more than anything else, honestly. Okay. <laughs> right. Hello. Welcome to Wizard Peak. Jarvis. Okay. My favorite supercharged spot. Use it to bash those wizards. <clears throat> I mean, I could. Okay. Okay. Is that a vision? <laughs> no. Okay. Whee! Little mage looks like Vivi so much. Also, no, it's not. Uh, it does look a lot like Vivi, yeah. That's probably what it's referencing. Oh, actually, no. No, this came out before. Did this come out before Final Fantasy IX? They're very close. They're very close in release dates. Bye, Hyper. They're very close in release dates, but I think this may have been a little bit earlier. Oh, wow. That's a big charge point. Okay. Anyway. Hey, Doc. Oh, you got an ad. You know, you can change your color. My color? Can I? Hmm. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, Doc will be back in a second. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you can change the chat color. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Nailed it! Hi, Doc, if you're back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Once he is apart. Oh, okay. Okay. Ah, oh, my skull. <laughs> okay. Wait. So, which one came first, Bean? Hi. Oh, yeah, ads always have to, have to be typed my first message. I don't know. I don't know. You're really unlucky there. But hi. Hi, Duck. It's a remaster of your, uh, your childhood trilogy. Nice. Nice. I was saying before I was uh, I was a Crash guy more than a Spyro guy, but I definitely appreciate Spyro. This is the furthest I've ever made. Oh, I hate that. This is the furthest I've ever made it in a Spyro game. I will say that. I was very much a uh, Crash kid compared to Spyro. This is me, Curtis. This is me. I'm back. I'm back from paternity leave. Wait. Oh yeah. Yay! <laughs> Another child watches Pokemon Community Gamers. Red uh, and animal regular sometimes changes the colour. A like Pokemon thing to mess with people. <laughs> That's fun. If I was solely Pokemon, I'd probably have that community game, but nah. nah. What about Ratchet and Clank? Uh, I played the first one. I remember loving the first one. Um, Ratchet and Clank is on my backlog for next year. Like It's on our list of games we'll play next year. Uh, to be honest, most of the Ratchet and Clank series are on it, are on the list. Excuse you. That was very rude. Okay. 
I like the original trilogy, but the Legend trilogy is my special because it's one screw with. Ah, nice. There's a secret area in the artisan's home world near the waterfall. Try jumping on the stones. I already did it. Artisan's home world? I already did it, but. Yeah, that's going to I promised uh, a list of Ratchet and Clank games so it would be canon. You did, you did. I've currently got them all listed, and there's like 11 of them. And I don't think we're going to be able to play 11 Ratchet and Clank games next year. Well, we probably I mean, we could. Uh, but we've also got like the Assassin's Creed franchise to work our way through and all the other stuff. Original Trilogy by far takes gameplay, but Legend Spyro Trilogy, not gonna lie, takes lore the best. Ah, oh, okay. I don't know how many areas I've been to yet. I've done that one. I don't think I've gone here yet. No, I definitely, definitely haven't gone here yet. Oh no, I have. Crystal Flight, yeah, I've done this. What's this way? Oh, that's... Oh, I see. That's that's the way I came. Oh, okay. I'm, I've gone back on myself then. Hang on. My dad is six under six to... Uh, sorry, first had experience with Tiddle Instincts. Ah, six under six. Damn. Ah, there's the last one. Six under six, my guy. I, please tell me that's uh, to some extent like twins or triplets or something. Like that's insane. Six under six. Legends of Spyro have so many level characters. Uh, so much that one of the characters uh, from Legend Trilogy has an Easter egg in the remaster version. Oh, really? Okay. Blow hard. <laughs> Only if you buy me dinner first. Yeah, as far as the series, I never really, never really played. Um, I played through most of the um, in this remaster version. Huh? I played through most of the Crash games, but not Spyro. Oh, this is the boss. Oh, okay. Confronting Blowhard. So the boss is called Blowhard. Oh, that means after this we're halfway. Okay. Okay. There we go. Oh, I am. Oof. There we go. Set of triplets and a set of twin, twins and a single and a six. Wow! Triplets, twins, and then one on their own. That is madness. Okay. So I guess that's the guy. Okay. Guess that's why it's called Blowhard because he's wind. Ah. Uh, okay. Dragon, nice. Afternoon, Celtic. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. Your triplets start priming this week. Damn. Three, two, one. Literally. Yeah. You finished every match and clan game. Hmm. That'll be my checkpoint. Cool. Doing grand. Fantastic. Fantastic. You love to hear it, you love to see it. I suppose you could smell it if you tried hard enough. There we go. Give me that. Okay. Ah, oh, he's over there. Okay. Right. So if you're over there, what's over here? Not a lot. Oh, hang on. What's this? 
What the? Is it just a shortcut back to there? Yeah. Okay. Um. Up here. Now, again, as a guy who's never played Spyro, really, until this point, but has played a lot of Crash, I gotta say, the Spyro bosses... This is the third boss. They're not exactly hard. That's it. The Spyro bosses are genuinely weak source. They're so, so weak. That's... Hmm. Let's go a little bit. <laughs> One of my triplets is going to cite every time's table up to including fives at four years old. Damn. Flexing. Okay. This. Yeah. I don't know. The bosses is just not that good, man. Kind of looks like he's going to be like a gopher or a raccoon or something. He's got like, he's kind of got like the like squirrel or raccoon sort of face. I'm trying to figure out what Tuco's meant to be. Yeah, let's go. Proud daddy. No, be proud. Be proud. So this is world four. Of six, you said, right? To shreds, you say. Four already. I didn't realise this was so... easy? Like, I remember really not liking this game as a kid because it felt hard. It's a kid's game, you're very good at games. Thank you, that's very kind. I would say I'm mediocre at games, but thanks. I mean, Crash is a kid's game, but it's not this easy. I don't know. I feel like, the, do you know what I think it is? I think this is like... This is like the first game you play, right? And then you move on to Crash. Um, and then... Okay. Once you've moved on to Crash, you can maybe move on to something a little bit harder, like maybe Ratchet and Clank. I feel like that's the order it should probably go. Interesting. I don't remember it being this easy. No, I don't either. Although, one thing that I have heard uh, from like the Kadikarus review and stuff is that it definitely feels like they've made it easier. Do you want to challenge to play Wukong? It's on my November list. So every... Is he going to say anything interesting? Woo-wee! Not the gator! Hand me my shovel! <laughs> I'm sure it was. Thank you, Tom. Um, so every November, I play games that came out this year that I've not had a chance to play, right? Basically, all the new releases get played in November, because November tends to be around about the last time that new games come out. December, they don't really bother with it. Um, <laughs> one of his wife. To shreds, you say. <laughs> nice to say. Um, but yeah, uh, there are so many games that have either come out or are coming out uh, this year that I've had to make it November and December this year. So we've got two months of new games to play. Madness. We have so many new games to play. To shreds, you say. Just cracked your first ever 100k channel points in stream. Nice! You looking forward to uh, Pokemon Legends Za? Uh, no, I'm, I'm not I'm not bothering looking forward to that kind of stuff until I know what it's like. Like, I don't tend to judge games until I see them or ideally play them. I have to play them before I judge them. Um, I've made the mistake before. I've made the mistake before of... Um, getting excited about a game or whatever before it comes out. Uh, you don't do that. Just just wait for the game to come out and then play it. Um, there are so many games for me to play this year for November and December, as I've called it, that I've had to um, actually give up on some games. So, like, I was going to get the new Legend of Zelda game where you play as Zelda, um, but decided against it because I have so many games to play that I don't want to spend 40 40, 50 pounds on uh, on a game that I may or may not like.
Okay. I might get it in the future. Lila, was this a part with brake control? <laughs> I love that you know what I'm referencing. I love it. And download uh, Quiz Champions when it's out. Ah, I see, that's another one. I'm not sure about whether I want to get it or not. Jean Claude Van Damme. Oh, my goodness. I'm not sure if I want to get it or not. And there's so many other games to play this year that. Okay. So we're going to keep going this way for a moment. Here we go. I quote that show verbatim. I love it so much. Future Armor is one of my comfort shows. Uh, okay. I've missed a few things over here, it seems. Okay. Oh, it's because I went this way. And found all this stuff, so I didn't go around. Right, 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 right. You love Future Armor, right? Um... EFC. Oh, is that the FIFA but not FIFA? We're not going to make FIFA anymore. No! Oh, it's now called FC. I was just saying, I have my first ever 100k. Yeah, it's, you nailed it, man. You nailed it. Look at you go. Brag about that. You should. It's an achievement. I don't have 100k in anybody's streams, and that includes like Schmer, and I watch like Schmer religiously. How are you going to get these? I've been wondering how you're supposed to get these. Is it from supercharging? If you do supercharge your way into these. Okay. Fireworks. Fireworks. Big booms. Okay. Oh, I thought I hit him. Apparently not. Okay, there's one. There we go. Okay. Good news, everyone! I just made you read this in Professor Farnsworth's voice. You did. You did. And I regret nothing. Okay. Thank you. I'll take that. It's weird, since being an adult, I've had an irrational fear of fireworks. Nothing irrational about it, it's literally an explosive. It was originally used as a weapon by the Chinese, it's not irrational. Originally it was it was a long-range weapon. <laughs> Nothing irrational about it. All dragons found? Sweet. Hey, Ben. Okay. Oh, interesting. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. This stuff over here. Is there anything over here I need to do? No. Okay. Oh no. Okay, anyway. Got ya. We introduce Teddy to Spire and Crash one day. Absolutely, I will. Yeah, yeah, he's absolutely getting introduced to all this sort of stuff. Also, providing I don't die here, no skydiving. Amazing Crash reference. There you go. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Who's a genius who uh, wants to know? Uh, well, let's, let's shift this guy for a pretty light show. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, I think originally, correct me if I'm wrong, originally uh, fireworks were like a long range weapon thing. And then they realized that if they, they realized that if they uh, put certain like chemicals or whatever into it, it makes them like pretty, essentially. Uh, and so that's how it sort of morphed, as it were. Okay, so I've got to get over there. Right. 
Hmm. Okay, we're gonna go here next. Okay. Got ya. Right. And then up here. Right, 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 right. And now that we're here. Let's go over here. Nope. Okay, that did not work. Basically coloured gunpowder. That's all it is, it's coloured gunpowder. Okay. Uh right. Hmm. Maybe if I go to here first. Oh, well I didn't mean to do that. Once you commit to the glide, you can't stop it. It's very annoying. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay. Boom. Boom. Skill point? What do I get skill point for? Most of the series where one uh, is crashed in Spire's World and one's next, obvious. Uh, they did that. They did it on Game Boy. They had uh, Game Boy Game Boy games where one of them was Spyro and Crash's World and one was Crash and Spyro's World. Um, the Spyro one was like Spyro Orange and the Crash one was Crash Purple, something like that. Um, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't very good. They were also. This is going to break some people's hearts. Um, Did I get all the dragons in that area? I actually didn't check. Did I get all the dragons? Hmm. Uh, uh, anyway, this is going to break some people's hearts. Um, the uh, There was a new crash that was being... Oh, for God's sake. There's a new crash that was being planned, uh, where it was a crossover with Spyro, and it's been cancelled. Crash Bandicoot Purple and Spyro Orange, yeah. Uh, it's been cancelled. I did get them all, okay. Why? Don't know. They just cancelled it. Uh, but yeah, there's going to be a Crash and Spyro uh, crossover game. No idea why they'd cancel it, but they did. There we go. Oh, there's something down there. That's interesting. That would have been great nostalgia. Okay, bye, I guess. I agree, though. It would have been great. It's a shame they didn't do it. Maybe they'll maybe they'll get it back. I don't know. Um, maybe they'll do it again. Uh, but yeah, there is a new Spyro game being made. So if you think like um, how they did Crash Insane Trilogy and then they did Crash Four, uh, they're doing that with Spyro. So they've done the Spyro Reignited Trilogy, which is this, and then they're um, they're doing uh, Spyro Four. Four. Um, so yeah. People would kill to have a game like that. I don't know. It must have been something to do with like sharing the copyrights or whatever. It would have been something stupid like that. It would been something really stupid like that. I'm just going to have a quick stretch. I haven't done one today. Oh. There we go. What are we doing with our lives? What's your opinion on Robert Jr. being cast as Doctor Doom? I think I know where they're going with it. I think it's a shame that they're doing it. I think they could have done it differently. Um, I get why they're doing it. I get what the thinking is and the reasoning is. Don't forget, as well, this is still the multiverse saga. So they're basically, from what I can tell, they're doing... Um, the variant of Doom, where it's uh, where it's Tony Stark, um, I'd imagine it's going to be a way of like 
playing off of like still existing like heroes like things of like oh Tony you know sacrificed himself kind of thing and then like you'll catch him off guard by making by them thinking that he's the same same one when he's not I'm assuming that's what they're going to do with it um I feel like they could have done it better they could have just cast a, they could have cast someone awesome to be Doom one of the big problems I have with the Marvel movies in general is they seem to just be getting rid of villains in like one thing so like Ultron is just gone which is a shame because Ultron is amazing uh, Ultron is gone, you know. Thanos is technically gone. Although I suppose with the multiverse, anything's possible. Like they're just they're getting rid of these guys, you know. Um, but yeah, Sony can Activision that could make for an interesting mix of game developers. Yeah, yeah. Ultron's actually coming back. Oh really? That's fun. I mean, it's a shame they couldn't do. Well, they probably are doing it this in a similar way, but they they were going to do the thing of like um, Kang's storyline being the whole thing of him, uh, of basically him like creating like a multiverse tour battle royale thing essentially. So originally, uh, the whole point of 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 Kang the Conqueror is um they they want there to only be one universe because then you know there's one supreme kang as it were um and the way that they decide that is by having an all out battle royale between all the different multiverses um which is where they can bring in things like if they wanted to they could bring in things like x men they could bring in like uh throwbacks like the old fantastic 4 they could bring in the old x men they could do all that all that different stuff right um, the problem is obviously they can't do Kang now, so I don't know how they're going to do that if they're still going to do it. New Vision series. Oh, is he? Oh, okay, interesting. What kind of disappointed me is they didn't cancel the Black Panther movies after the death of Frozen. Oh, Chadwick. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, honestly, I loved the the first Black Panther film. I really didn't like the the, the second one. Um, it just felt like they weren't doing the pacing and the motions enough for me. Um, so the the good thing about a lot of the um, original Marvel movies is that they give you this they give you the setup that you need for these characters, right? They give you the setup that you need. So you know um, they have to prove themselves. They have to sort of earn their place. I uh, you know. Tony Stark took three films before he was truly uh, worthy of being called Iron Man. You know, that's kind of the whole point. Is it takes him a while to earn that title. Um, whereas with the new Black Panther, they kind of went, oh, by the way, here's Ironheart. There you go, she's earned it just by existing, you know. Even Shuri becoming the new Black Panther was kind of like, okay, well, she's earned it. Why? Because she's earned it. Screw you. You know, it was kind of a thing like, there's no earning it, you know? Um, really? Okay. Even 15 minutes, painkillers isn't enough. That's fair, that's fair. The feel wasn't there. Yeah, basically, yeah. Yeah. Also, I, I love that I've got this plugged in. Wireless headset. This headset, and I've, <laughs> I've got it plugged in at the moment. Oh, for God's sake, really? Cage free. Okay. Did you eat the butterfly? Why didn't you eat the butterfly? Okay, well, this is going to be hard. Okay, now it's going to be impossible. How'd that miss? Okay, let's try again. There's so many enemies just stacked here. And it doesn't help when I miss my jumps and stuff. Most people will win another week first time. 
Uh, hang on. I will say I've not seen it yet. Please don't spoil it. <laughs> um, oh, we can. It was the first time seeing the full MCU movie since Cat Kappa. Captain America First Avenger, that one. Ah, loved it. Nice. So, yeah, see, I, I've not I've not seen it yet, uh, because M was very, very heavily pregnant when it released and um We couldn't we couldn't go see it. Um but yeah. I love that I just lost two of my health points there. And there goes the third. Screw it. Oh my god! How do you get through this? Oh my god! Do you know what? I, I hate... This is my second complaint about this game. I hate when games go, how do we up the difficulty? Let's just put a thousand enemies in here. Like, that's not making the game difficult. That's making the game annoying. Right. You don't, that's the fun part. Yeah, 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 super fun. Okay. With pain, that's how. <laughs> All right, well, I'm in here with full health, so this should be at least moderately more straightforward. There we go. Which spire is this? Hey, Lifax, this is the remaster of the first one. Thanks for releasing me. It seems like I've been trapped in here since I was your age. Oh, no. Why? I remember. Uh, uh gotta go. No worries, Tom. No worries. Yeah, this is the remaster of the first one. Uh, okay. Let's see. Do I just glide over? Um. Can someone explain what just happened there? Did I genuinely just hit an invisible wall and die? Did I just hit an invisible wall and die? That I did myself. You hit the wall. No, we have not homecoming. Oh, okay. Also, the edges of these cliffs, man. So unforgiving. Right. Oh, right. Where am I? What am I doing? Oh, okay, I'm over here. Hmm. You haven't really enjoyed Marvel movies since uh, Far From Home and Homecoming and everything. Yeah, it's um, it's definitely been difficult to be a Marvel enjoyer recently. Although, uh, I've heard it's getting better. I've heard it's getting better. I think they just tried to do too much. I think they just tried to do too much. Well, hi. I think all the TV shows, all the movies, I think they were just doing too much. Uh, I get they've got like a narrative to tell and all that kind of thing. There's no shame in a slow burn, you know. I mean, just doing too much at once. Uh, there was a crossover. It was uh, it was on Game Boy. It's surprising how few people know about it. I've had quite there's been quite a lot of people today come in and say like uh, wish there was a Spyro and Crash crossover. Uh, but yeah, there was on the Game Boy. Uh, they also cancelled one that they were going to do on modern consoles after the Reignited trilogy and the Insane trilogy. They were going to do. A crossover game, but apparently they've cancelled it. You for me. You're welcome. That's it. Oh, okay. Kobe screw them over. There is way too many different things. Side like three years. Yeah. I think as well. Um, I think after Endgame, it's a hard, hard thing to you know maintain the quality of. How did I not hit you? I think it's a hard thing to maintain the quality of. Um, 
you know, like something as amazing as Endgame, like where it all just wrapped up so beautifully and all that kind of thing. It's uh, it's hard, you know. It's hard to top that, and I think I think people's expectations were sorry. I had to concentrate. I think people's expectations are a little bit, a little bit too high. Um, I think they did a good job with some stuff. I think uh, Moon Knight was amazing, although I've heard that they've cancelled season two of that. Boo! Uh, I thought Moon Knight was amazing. I thought Loki was amazing. I really liked Miss Marvel, although apparently uh, the Marvels movie is awful. It's their lowest rated uh, movie. Um, yeah, hundred percent of the reignited trilogy, totally worth it. Uh, it was a while ago. I don't remember this level. Oh, really? They said all the Star Wars stuff. Yeah. I think Disney are just trying too hard, man. Cool. Not sure if they're ever planning to do season two. They uh, they had they had it planned, but I think they cancelled it. They were gonna. They were never gonna make season two Moon Knight. It was after a certain award uh gonna shows for season one, I believe. Oh really? Interesting. So they're never gonna do it. That's a shame. For me, Moon Knight was one of the best shows. Um I thought Moon Knight was great. I also really liked uh Shang Chi. I thought Shang Chi was a good film. Uh but I know that one didn't get too many too much praise. I think I think to be honest though, Disney in general are just I think Disney in general are just going a little bit too uh, over the top with the amount they're putting out. Is this a level or a flying level? I don't know if this is a flying level or a regular level. It's a flying level I'm leaving. I don't like the flying levels. I really don't like them. And they're non, non mandatory, so yeah. I thought Moon Knight was great, though. They need to slow down and focus on other things. They really do. They really do. Okay. Could I not just go this way? Hmm. Huh. The final level's called Speedways. They might be, yeah. Welcome back. Thank you, America. It's, uh, everything's gone okay. It's gone great, yeah. Playing your favourite trilogy. Nice. Oh, is that a little boy back again? I've got a sad little boy back again. Having another nappy change. You know what that means? It means we get visited by Teddy again. Oh, spoiling us. Okay, that's weird. Uh, hmm. Yeah, no, I agree with you. Denise. I think Disney in general need to slow down. Also, don't think I haven't noticed the fact that they're, they've announced a load of sequels that didn't need doing because they're trying desperately trying to get their money back. Like like Frozen 3 or whatever, and then Moana 2, and all the other 2s and 5s and 10s and 50s that they're doing. I think I haven't noticed that. Oh, a key. Okay. Okay. Oh, ouch. Okay. There's a, yeah, they're doing a live action Mufasa movie, which <laughs> absolutely did not need to be a thing. Got a checkpoint here. We nice. Hello, Lyle. Disney's run out of interesting ideas. Don't know how. For an amazing tour of the treetops. Don't just stop at one supercharge. Ah. Oh. 
Warship ruin the Mufasa character. Uh, if it's going to be based on the thing that they did before, I think they did like a cartoon before or something like that, or like a straight to VHS movie or whatever, um, where it shows that Scar and Mufasa were meant to like rule together and Mufasa like betrays him, and that's the whole point of why Scar is Scar, I think. I think. I'm not sure though. But you know what it is. It's Teddy time. I'm going to wait patiently for Teddy. They gotta keep making bad stuff so people keep buying the items and toys from movies. This is true. This is true. So, uh, those who are wondering, I'm waiting for my baby boy. I've got my baby boy. I can hear him. I can hear him. Has he got hiccups? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's got hiccups. <laughs> Teddy time! Yeah, I can hear the hiccups. <laughs> Hang on. It's adorable. I can I can hear just little <laughs> from the other room. Oh, here he is, the little hiccup boy. Mum needs to wash her hands. Okay, well Teddy can sit with Dad. Right? Hello, you got hiccups? Yeah. Oh yeah. Headbutt chat. Oh, little hiccups. Hello. Mwah. How are you, my little angel? Mm, you still being a demon for mom? Needs to make a uh, Toy Story 5 uh, so Buzz and Woody stay relevant, right? Even his hiccups are cute, I know. You can't be mad at him. Here you go. You ready? <gasps> oh, so big. Bye bye. Bless him. Okay. They need to make Toy Story 5 uh, so Buzz and Woody can stay relevant. Well, the thing is, like, Toy Story 3, I feel like, was the best way to end. Uh, I feel like Toy Story 3 was, the, like, the, the correct way, as it were, to end it. And then they decided to do Toy Story 4, where, despite everything that happened in Toy Story 3, they decided that Woody was going to leave. So I'm not quite sure how they're going to have Woody come back, because they are. They are having... How did that miss?! They are having Woody come back. Uh, Woody's coming back, so I don't know how, but yeah. But then we wouldn't have gone Forky. Ugh, I can't stand Forky. It's just a stupid thing. Nice having another dependent in the house that sees you as the spare human. Right. Nope, not like that either. Oh yay, my favourite level. Oh, it's really? Yeah. What is coming back? Phrasing. Yeah. Okay. How is that any different to what I did before? How is that any different to what I did before? It wasn't. That's the answer. It wasn't. When even Spy uh, everyone says Spy is too easy, show them this level. Oh, really? It's that bad? Where am I even meant to be? Oh. Because the game likes to be evil. Fair. I love how it it knows it's a it knows it's a mean level because it keeps giving you lives. It's given me so many lives. It's got supercharged that, I guess. Okay. But there's a dragon over there that I've not gotten. Also, hi, Celtic. How are you doing? Okay. Oh. Ah. Right. Okay. Hello. Right. 
Right. More health. Mm -hmm. Worst part of the update version is they made the buggy things look better. <laughs> so this level's that bad, huh? Okay. So I somehow have to, somehow have to get over there. Um... Okay, well, let's... First of all, let's do the one that we know we can do before we try experimenting with things. Because there is still at least one dragon. There's two! There's two dragons I've not found yet. Oh, Christ. <sighs> wow. Okay. Thing is, I can see one. Can I glide over to that? Maybe. Oh, hang on. I need to see this. It's about linking supercharges correctly. Ugh. I play Baldur's Gate three with my friends soon. Should my new character be a paladin, dragonborn, or a meme no no monk? Yeah, this level genuinely just feels disgusting. Oh. That's nice. Hmm. This is the tree top one, yeah. Oh wow, is this is this that infamous of a level? That everybody knows which one I'm on? It's that infamous? Oof. Okay. It's gonna be hilarious when the three foot gnome is running around bare fist nowhere, right? The constant charging sucked. Oh great. Okay. Checkpoint me, please. Not even gaslighting, I actually really like this level. Oh, really? Ah, I've been here before. Okay. So now I know that I'm here. So I guess I have to supercharge my way up there. Right to where the egg guy is. Even pro speedrunners hate it, really. No one likes this level. Interesting. So yeah, I'm guessing I have to use like a ridiculous amount of charges to get myself up there. There's no way you can continue that charge though. Hmm. Okay, so this is what I was going to experiment with earlier. With over here. The word shop America. <laughs> right. Also, hi, Alex. Um, if I hadn't said hi to you already. I actually do like it. First jump is annoying. Uh, okay. So. Hello. Um, I'm guessing I have to break that. Somehow. I'm just, if I can figure out where the start point is. Can I do some physics notes? Ah, oh, sad. Sad, sad, sad. I remember liking physics, but I always hated with um, with the uh, sciences was, and maths was like the formulas. Could never remember the formulas. I like learning about stuff, but I, I hated the formulas. You charge, jump this from charge over those, those spikes. Uh, okay. You know, fail a few times. Okay, so do I start there or there? Left or right? Which speed ramp do I start with? The left or the right one? Or neither? So good math, but uh, so I can remember. You don't remember? That's fair. That's fair. Don't worry about it. So this guy said to do multiple ones, so I'm guessing it's from here. 
And then I... Oh, I, I see. I see what I've got to do. So I run down there, I jump across, and then I hit that second... That furthest ramp away. And I jump over to there. Um... Or I jump over there. I don't know. We'll, we'll try that one first, because that seems the easier one. The left is also a blow area here. I did notice that, but I can't get back. Okay. Okay, so I didn't quite manage that then. Hmm. But I think I was kind of, I think I was on the right track. I think I just went the wrong way. Okay. Okay, so take me back then. So this is where I'm meant to finish then. This is where I'm meant to finish. So I'm guessing I launch from there over to here. I've got to learn the pass because learn when to jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is so stupid. I, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Okay. Right. Start here. Right. No, no, no. I just don't like the level. I'm not complaining that it's hard, I just don't like it. Um, okay. I think the thing that I don't like about it is there's no clear indication about where to go, you know? Okay, let's try this then. No one likes this level. Uh, this level, uh, this level's a puzzle. Mm. Okay, I was not pointing that way, but alright. Do I? No, I can't. No, that can't be right. Wrong. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, uh, wrong, America. Come on now. Run that dragon down the ramp and jump right. Oh, one to the right side. Okay, hang on. Do you mean, um... Parkour! Parkour, indeed. Do you mean... That from... This dragon here... I need to sprint... And then... No. The other dragon. Oh, from this dragon. Oh, okay. Down the ramp and jump right. Now, why would I jump right? Oh, do I have to... S can I smash that? Is that something I could do? Is I can smash it? No. Oh, do I go down to there and run my way up? I jump to the right, go up this, and like speed my way up. Is that what I'm meant to be doing? Give it a go. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Go get side of your notes. No worries, no worries. 
Okay. I see what we gotta do. Have fun reading your 30 pages. Okay. I'm guessing that takes me to the last dragon, I'm assuming. And the egg guy. There's a reason why my brother does it for me. <laughs> okay. Does this the flying levels and nasty nork? Oh really? Interesting. Your wife made you do this level for her. Oh really? I didn't realise this level was so like haze. This reminds me of the slip it's a slippery climb or whatever in Crash One. Everybody hates that level. Everybody hates that level. Um where you're climbing outside of Cortex Castle and you like climb your way up the in the rain and stuff. Oh everybody everybody. Okay. Okay. Now I know what I'm doing. Thank you very much for the help there, Brooksy. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Yeah, I faded 99 lives to finish this and finish on 12. Wow. Yeah, I can see why. Okay. Oh, no, there is no way that didn't count. It actually just absolutely shafted me. <laughs> Fashion. Oh, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, God, that absolutely shafted me then. Okay. But we've nearly made it twice now, so I'll take that. I'll take that. I imagine this is even harder on the PS1 version. Okay. There's no nearly inspired. There really isn't. It's savage. One thing I will say is like it, it's it's genuinely savage with the hitboxing. Like you put a toe out of line and it hates you. This level can do one. <laughs> so I've heard. Okay. And then over here, and then we hug the right. Oh my god. That has killed me twice. That's amazing. It's killed me twice. Parkour! Parkour indeed. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Get yeeted, mate! Oh, please tell me the dragon's up here. It's not, is it? The dragon isn't up here. No. Okay. Okay. Yes! yes! So instead of jumping to the right, I guess I actually have to jump left for that run. Um, because there's no dragon up here. Someone clip that. <laughs> okay. So I'm guessing at uh, that ramp part, instead of jumping right, I need to jump left. Okay. Hmm. OK. 
Okay, and then up here, and then up here. So we've got a dragon there, we've got a dragon there. Yeah, logic would suggest... Did you just slap me? Rude. Hmm. Okay. I suppose definitely top 50 dragons in computer games. Top 50. Are the other 49 the sky? Okay. Let's give this a go. Oh, hang on. Hmm, no, nah, actually, probably not. No. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm still missing a dragon, though. Where's the last dragon? Hmm. Where is the last dragon? I'd imagine I've got to supercharge into a wall of some kind uh, to, uh, to like break it or something, or like there's like a like a secret area I need to jump to uh, in order to get it. So let's have a little look. Right. One of the top Google searches is Spyro Tree Top's Last Dragon. Really? Wow. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing it's hidden in some way. Um, interesting. I, just, I think it's going to be a smashable wall, yeah. I think you're right. Um, okay, let's go back over to this dragon. Okay. Oh, there he is. I just saw him. I just saw him. I just saw him. Wait. No, that's not him. That's just the crystal. Did I see him? It's a crystal. Um, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. I don't think I can make that, so I'm gonna have to run this again. Yeah, that small ramp, yeah. Do I have to somehow get my way onto that? Is that what you're gonna? Is that what you're about to tell me? I have to somehow speed my way onto that little ramp. Yeah, yeah, I figured as much. Okay, real question is how? Um. Okay, let's have a little look at what we're doing here. So I know the small ramp you're on about. why my brother does it. Fair enough. So it's that ramp there. But how do I get myself over there? Oh, I bet, I bet it's that. Right, hang on. Oh, this is going to be a night. If this is how you've got to do it, this is going to be a nightmare. Right, here we go. Oh, pfft. <laughs> <laughs> Nice game designs. We need to make our uh, game, but how do we make it really obtuse, right? Ah, oh, I thought it might be that. Okay. How do I get it over there? I absolutely can't just glide it. Despite the fact I could genuinely I could fit through that. 
Okay, so I go around here then. Figure out where now it's how. Yeah, exactly. I hate that. That is annoying me so much. I'm going to get a game over here, I'm telling you right now. I'm going to run out of lives to get this. Not a the ridiculousness of these hitboxes for this thing. I absolutely hit that. I really want to nut her it. Like, it's so mean. Do you want the 99 lives? What happens if you game over? Do you just come back? But with more... It's like, what happens if you game over in Spyro? Welcome back. Thanks, Lee. I tell you what, Brooksy, at the, at the very least, tell me which which ramp do I start on? Do I start on the left one or the right one to get this? Which one do I start on? The left one or the right one? You just leave the level. Wow. But do you keep the dragons you already found? Or do you have to get all three again? I can tell you my brother does it. Fair enough. Okay. Um You keep it you just respawn out with the level with three lives. Ah uh, It's connecting like four ramps or something. Used to be that brother from my friend group, good times. <laughs> okay. They're gonna, I think my idea won't be liked. Go on. Oh! Right, I'm gonna f this because I, I can't figure this out. I actually, I genuinely cannot figure this out. Lyle's spot. Is this Lyle? Hi, Spyro. Yeah, okay. Supercharge the ramp, jump across the island and head to the tall stone structure on it. What? Right, let me just put a video on because it'll be easier. Right, I've got a video open right now. I'm not joking. Okay. I'm just wait. Okay, or, or you could have started the video at the correct dragon. I'm just saying, rather than have the video where half the v half the video is them getting to the spot. Right, so it's here. What do you do? You supercharge down this ramp, and then you jump across. Okay, you go on to there, across there. I was right! You do do that! Oh, that's so stupid! I, I got it right. I just did it. I just didn't do it. Right, okay. Oh, I missed! Okay. Right, I know how you do it. All the lives. No, 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 I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'll only take them if I really need them. But no, I know how to do it now. Right. But thank you. 
Okay. Right. So, what we have to do is you saw me doing the jumping and everything, right? Where I jump across. Once you jump across, you have to sharp right turn over to this bit and then jump from there across there. It's going to be a nightmare. How on earth they think that this was fair for kids? I have no idea. Up until now, this game's been an absolute doddle. Oh, I missed. Okay. That's a ridiculous jump. Right, here we go. Four to go. Oh, we were that close. We were that close. <laughs> okay. Jump. 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 Missed. You gotta glide at the highest point of the jump. Makes sense. Nah, if I lose my lives, I'll just come back. It's fine. I don't want to do the 99 life thing. Oh. Do you have a zero life, or is this my last life? Yeah, this level can go suck an egg. Oh no, you have a zero. This level can, can literally go suck an egg. Actually screw this level. <laughs> Actually screw this level. This whole game has been a doddle, an absolute laugh. What the fuck? And this level, I can see four lives okay and then wait where am I wait where am I gonna go wait where on earth does it put me why does it put me here uh whatever no I know I'm in the main world but why does it put me here why does it not put me back Outside the uh, outside the area. Oh, that's so stupid. So not only am I back in the main area, but I have to work my way back to the level. So silly. Actually, re-download it. Do it. All right, this one. Right. Do I have to get the three again? Let's see. If I have to get three again, it is what it is. They're not hard. You gotta redo the whole level. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see if I have to redo the two dragons or not. Are oh, you can blow fire? I wondered. No, I only need the one. Okay. Oh, so it remembers that I fought these guys. Because it's just giving me the life tokens. Okay. Well, that's, that's something, I suppose. Okay. Rush of gaming, iffy game design, and terrible save options. Yeah, basically. Well, I'm about to get a life by the look of it. Oh, there's a life. Okay, I'm going to need it. Right. So. Checkpoint me, please, my lovely. Thank you. Right. 
five chances. Six, technically. Let's go. So we jump. Jump. We jump. We jump. Nailed it first try. Nailed it first try. It's always a way in it. Okay. Let's mug him. There we go. Oh, Kick Games and Nights 2000s held no hands, right? Hi. That was quite a ride, Spyro. You learned a lot since you were a young glider. Yeah, well, <sighs> you could have found an easier spot to get stuck. Absolutely do one. <laughs> this level needs to absolutely do one. Okay. Don't forget now, I still have to make my way over to that end point. I still have to make my way over to the end point now. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I hate that jump. Oh, I've got to do the charge to destroy the box. Wait, why are you here? Why did it not? Oh, I didn't checkpoint me, for God's sake. Remember Crash Zelda games, Spyro, Lion King games for the SNES, etc. Mm. Come on, checkpoint me. Thank you. Okay. So I overjumped it. It's just a smidge. <laughs> Don't need that box. Let's just go. Let's just go. We're done. Uh, that's all three levels. So now I've just got to find the boss, wherever the boss is. No idea where they are. We've got, just got to find them. Um, God knows where they're going to be. <laughs> this game is why I'm not bothered about if I complete a game and never finish them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah screw tree tops, right? Okay, where's the boss? Ah, Metalhead, there we go. Oh look, a life! Thank you. It's like you knew. Okay. There we go. You second that notion. <laughs> oh, I've got a charge jump, are you kidding me? Right. Come on! Okay. Right, cool. Nice, nice, nice. Right. Hello. Wait, you don't have to fight the bosses? Surely you do. Okay. You don't have to fight the bosses? That's ridiculous. That's insane. You don't have to fight the boss? Madness. But there's a dragon. There's always a dragon in here. There's always a dragon in the boss level. So surely you do have to. You just need to collect the dragons. That's madness. That is such an interesting way of doing it. Different levels tell you get certain things like 10 dragons. Oh. Okay. Okay.
There we go. Finally got him. Okay. What was that? Oh. Okay. Interesting that these guys are apparently working for Nasty Norg. It's a weird turn of events. I wasn't expecting it. Okay. Right. Oi, oi, oi. Uh, this way, I guess? Well, I know you got a third one. I was just going to throw. Okay. There we go. Thank you. There we go. Um, right, more stuff here. Okay, gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Thank you. Okay. Ow. I'm not really paying attention now, I'm going to be honest. Okay. There we go. Right, we got a guy throwing. How do you slow mo throw a banana? That's impressive, man. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I can hear a dragon. Assuming he's up here. Ah, there he is. Okay. Hello, Siddiqui. What's suppose it? The, the first one, Stevie. It's the remaster of the first one. If you look at any percent nasty Nork speedrun, they do the bare minimum. Get nasty. Ah. It's interesting. Um. Oh. Very weird. This boss, you hate this boss? Oh, really? Mm. That doesn't fill me with hope. Okay. I can hear a sad boy downstairs. Okay. Oh, a sad boy upstairs. Sad boy everywhere. Uh, okay. A Theo makes himself known. He does, yes, he does. Okay. Oh, well, that was it. <laughs> I, uh, I won. <laughs> so, uh, so that, that was, that was that. It's one of the hard levels. Sure. 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 Um, yeah. Yeah, that was... No, that wasn't hard, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> wasn't hard. Um, ah. How's my doing around the nervousness around the noisemaker? He's fine. Hmm. Okay. He's, uh, he's, he's okay. He's uh, definitely, don't get me wrong, he's struggling, but he's he's doing really well.
How the hell did you cheese that so hard? Did I? Did I did I actually cheese it? How did I cheese it? It was really simple. You break the pillars. Okay, and now I can't figure out how to get it. He's the cheese master, clearly. I now I can't figure out how to get to that. So screw it, I'm not gonna. Screw it. In fact, well, let's just leave. I don't see how that's a hard boss. You just break his pillars. Afternoon, Benjamin. Afternoon. Miss anything good? Uh, I'll go pick my from work. No, I didn't really miss much. Apparently, I just cheesed that boss, and people aren't uh, people aren't happy about it. Let's go. So this is world five. You just cheese Melhead. How did I cheese it? All I did was break his pillars. That wasn't hard. I explain to me how I cheesed that. World five. Damn. There's only six according to you guys. So. Looks like we're going to absolutely smash this today. I'm alive and go back to work. Ah, how's little dragon boy going? Is, is little dragon boy here is going well? Oh, wow. Well, this is a fever dream. Okay, so the mushrooms give me boss flies. Oh, I see. It's pixies. Freshly caught Cornish pixies. <laughs> How did I... Hmm. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay. Play the Ace Bio game is a fever dream, and that's why I love it. It's fair. Okay. Haunted towers, you say. To shreds, you say. What the? I feel like that was an unfortunate place to get them. OG Metalhead looks something like something for future armor. Oh, I see. Hang on. I've just seen a life. I very much want that. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so yeah. You hit the rods perfectly most times. I've about to hit the rods to turn red quicker. Oh, really? Oh, I just got lucky with the with the timing of the lights. That makes sense. Makes sense, that makes sense. It's a speedrunner's dream. <laughs> Do you know what? Just for just for doing Metalhead so well, I get Wasabi P. Mmm. The headache that dragon must have, right? Am I restreaming? No, Jacob, I'm here. Hello. Back. <clears throat> Oh, as in restreaming to me. Oh, yeah, in that sense, yes, I'm in more than one place. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Huh. Um, makes sense, right? Okay. Ow. 
Wait, so how do I beat these guys? Hmm. How's baby do? He's good! How on earth am I meant to beat these guys? What the? Hmm. Super flame. I don't have super flame. Hmm. Not yet, anyway. Hello. Oh, now I have Super Flame. Okay, I just needed a kiss from a pixie. And then get one shot from behind like that. Okay. Get kissed and super flame. Apparently so. Apparently so. Right. Yeah, love, give us a snog. Tar, babe. How? How do you fail that badly? It's an all riled up the day, boy, right? I tell you what, this game's definitely easier than Crash, but it's so unforgiving. Is Fire Baby Dragon? Yeah. Yeah, he is, yeah. Okay. I think we go here now. Hey Nacho, what was his name? Sorry, I, I, I wanted to read, but big friendly work. Uh, so glad I can watch one of yours. Thank you, Nacho. Door. Oh, door. This door? Super flame that door. Oh. Okay. Ooh. That's fun. Okay. Now if we get the super flame again and we can go up there. Okay. But thank you very much, Nacho. Lovely to have you here. Okay. Gotcha. Right. Oh. You saw Spyro uh, Ends of Dragonfly, and uh, so I never knew these games existed until the remake was done. Oh, really? That's fun. Okay. Well, apparently, now that they've remastered this trilogy, they're making another one, like they did with the Crash. Um. And hey, they're re they're remastering the Croc games, so I guess they're also going to remaster. They're, they may well do like a th a third Croc game, because they never did a third Croc game. Oh, I missed it! Dang. All right, well, let's get this. Costco. Okay, buy one fantastic, buy three fantastic. Buy two exists. <laughs> 
Sure. See what it can do to your power of flame. Oh God. Which Spyro game is it? Where they um introduce like water breath and ice breath and stuff. My life likes crash, but I'm terrible at it. I'm crash. I prefer crash. We're playing two more crash games this month. So I've already got Crash 1, 2, 3, Crash Team Racing, Crash Bash, and Crash 4 um, on the channel. And now I'm going to have... Um, I'm going to have Crash Twin Sanity and Crash Wrath of Corsex also coming to the channel. So we're definitely, I'm definitely a Crash fan. Okay, I think I just need to avoid these guys. Okay. Go to the castle. <laughs> Gone, babe. Ah, they're there. Okay. So, yeah. Definitely uh, definitely a fan of Crash. But I'd like to be able to play some more Spyro games as well. I think Spyro is going to be a regular on the, on the channel as well. Um, they're just great games, you know. They're a lot of fun. Ah, the return home's there. But there's two more dragons. Interesting. Ah, flame breath door. Got ya. Where's your bring back uh, Tack and the Power of Juju? I saw somebody playing Tack the other day and it reminded me of it. And I was like, oh, I've got to get myself, uh, I've got to get hold of a copy of Tack somehow. Um. But yeah, it's like, I've got to get my hands on, uh, on a copy of Tack somehow. Also, hey, Queen. Ooh. Okay. Well, I've hate Sonic because she's a completionist, so she never could beat the first level. Oh, no. Yeah, Sonic's not for... Uh, not for the completionists. He's definitely not for the completionists. Tom Kenny, aka SpongeBob, does Spice Voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've already been told. That's a fun little little fact. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Ah, dragon. Spyro has thirteen games you can play. Mm-hmm. Definitely not eating flapjack right now. You'll soon have the opportunity to battle the one. Looking on my steam dice, we had the Jack and Jackson Sly Cooper on it. Nice. Getting a hold of them is the issue. Mmm. Yeah. Some of them won't be too bad. Others will be a nightmare. Cheers, Wolf. Right. Give us a kiss. Didn't include Skylanders in that. I won't play Skylanders. Also, Nash, thank you for the follow as well. I'm not going to play Skylanders. I've heard um, Skylanders is basically just a way of them, like, getting as many, um, as much merch sold as possible. Because they got the little amiibo things, right? Okay. Right. Mm hmm. Yeah. I've heard it's really hard to get hold of them all as well. It's so inspiring to the dragonfly, though. Mm. Also, Nacho, thank you for following me in both places, by the way. Skylanders vs. Disney Infinity, right? Okay, I think I got them all. Ah, oh, there's a pixie here, that's fine. Give us a kiss. Mwah. Yeah, some of them will be on PlayStation Plus, I'd imagine. Yeah, like you say. Okay.
That might be all of it. Did I get all of them? No in here. Did I get all the dragons? Nope. Hmm. I've missed one. You liked Infinity? I never played it. I just don't appreciate the whole thing of like you got to collect X amount of things in order to um, you got to buy sorry X amount of things in order to actually be able to play. I, I don't appreciate when games do that. Hmm. Oh, there's a bit you glide around at the cat. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you, Brooksy. I love that every time I play one uh, a game, there's always someone, at least one person in chat, who knows how to beat it. And I love that it's Brooksy's turn. Oh, I can hear him. Yeah, I can hear him. I love that it's Brooksy's turn. Oh, okay. I can glide. Ah. Okay. Okay, that's not gonna work. Land spy. Oh my Christ in heaven! I do not believe what you just did. You are the stupidest dragon. Honestly, you want dirt cheaper, flea market? Nice, nice. Right. Sorry, I had to have a bit of flapjack there to make stuff feel better. Enjoy your nap, Dan. Hope your back feels better. You go through all three as well, but let Brooksy shine. <laughs> okay. So. Where do I glide from? Is it from here? I don't feel like it's here. How do I get to there? Looks like there's an egg thief over there as well. Okay. Hmm. It's from one of the steps. Got ya. Um. Use that fairy in case you fall. Good plan. Good plan. Good plan. I think it's from one of the steps. Okay. Love of God, man. Land better. Just... Right. Fairy doesn't do anything. No, but it checkpoints me. Let me lie. So I have seven. Okay. It ain't that. Yeah, yeah. Dragon Fairy. Does anyone know which step it is? Was there a door back inside? Uh, so I've never seen things. Mm, I don't think you're seeing things. There was a door. I broke the door, but it reset. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah, so like, um, yeah. It's like I can break this now. Let's see. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Not over there. Hmm. 
That's, that's even worse. I don't want to keep losing lives, the thing. Disregard my last comment. <laughs> okay. Land, man! Jesus Christ. I don't know. Bastion, is, is this how I do it? Is it from these steps? Or is there like a higher point I can get to? It's not these steps. There's got to be some other way. Maybe, maybe like it's like some of you are saying, like maybe if I go around. Supercharge around the pool. It could be. I was wondering if I supercharge and like run my way around here and then jump. Hmm. It, it could be. Remember be, being able to glide around the building? Maybe. Let's clear this area first. Or you could jump. Just saying. No, I don't think it is. There's no benefit. Um, mm. Let me just clear this again. Okay. Hello. What world are you in? Ah, uh, haunted towers. I can. I'm missing a dragon, and I can see that there's a glide spot. I just can't. Can't figure out for the life of me how to get to that glide spot. We've tried jumping off of the steps. But it just isn't high enough. Um, but there doesn't seem to be another way. There doesn't seem to be a way to get any higher. It's definitely from the steps. Am I just getting unlucky with my jumps? I don't have to do something stupid like... Come on, line up. I have to do something stupid like this, do I? Mm. Okay. I don't have to do something stupid where like, I, um, I speed boost and turn around. I can hear the damn dragon! It's here! You looked it up. Come on, Reaper, tell us. Send a video. Uh, where did you send the video? I don't see it. Um, like that. But outside, jump and run up the ramp. Discord? I don't see it. Where did you put it? It's not in. It's not in general. Oh, DM! You can't DM me. 
You can't DM me. Uh, just stick it in general chat. Just stick it in general. Um, already done it. But do you stream ROM hacks Pokemon? Uh, no, I don't. I don't do it. I haven't done it yet. Run up a ramp. So you're saying I have to go this way? Out here, around. And then, ah uh Ah, -huh. uh, I got it. I don't think I need the guide, but thank you. I'll look at it just in case I'm wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then I do I run back up? I run back up and then jump. You just jump to the other side. Oh, okay. So like this. God's sake. Okay, I didn't be able to before. I had a new account. Don't forget, I had everything hacked, so I had to make new of everything. I say hacked. They got hold of my password. It's not really hacking if they got my password. Oh. Uh, ah, uh, Christ! I just go out the door, left, and jump the gap. I don't understand. I'm just gonna watch the video. I don't understand. Ah. <sighs> Yes, yes, yes. Very pretty intro. Now, could you just show me what to do? Okay. Oh, this is just the whole level. Right, okay, hang on. Excuse me a moment. <laughs> it's the entire level. Right, okay. So they're going to run down. Yeah. And then they go... Oh! Well, okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Good six minute mark. Thanks. Thanks. I found it. Thank you. Okay. So I go down here. Don't hit the wall. One thing I will say, the controls are not very good for this. The fact that you've got to, like, control every aspect of this it's not good it's not good at all uh, you can tell it's an old game you can definitely tell it's an old game right Spyro runs how I drive Christ, remind me to never let Queen drive me anywhere ah oh, mate Oh my god. Alright. Okay. This is just going to be a nightmare. It's going to take me so many tries, I can already tell. I don't know why they decided to just throw in so much jank in the back half of the game. Because this isn't a difficulty spike, it's just jank. It's just janky. Hey, you take that back. I do not play this the way that Queen plays Kingdom Hearts. There we go. Pad the playtime. Yeah, that's literally all it's for. It's just to pad the playtime. You become a master of the supercharge. Great work. Thanks. Enjoy your coffee. Um But yeah, it's uh no not phenomenal. Okay, that's an interesting path that I have to take now. I'm guessing it's going to be a fairy lug -like around here or something. Are you trying to tell me that you have to... Hang on. 
No Kingdom Hearts like a true professional. Don't know what you're talking about. Of course, of course. Right, well, I ain't getting up there, am I? Bye. Go fast. Yeah, I noticed that, and then I got stuck on it. So, oh well. Don't need it anyway. We got all the dragons. There's no eggs. Let's just go. Okay. Whew. Right, well that's the first one of World 5. What's over here? What's this do? Oh. oh. Okay. Oh, good, I missed. Oh good, I'm dead. Christ alive. Queen never knew Eeyore is a donkey. How do you not know that Eeyore is a donkey? That's genuinely impressive, Queen. Okay. Right. Uh. Zeal's a me Ah, yours is a metaphor for depression, you're correct. It's not a me it's not a metaphor. It's um oh, what's it called? When animals represent something, can't remember. Um oh my god, what's it called? Personification. He's the personification of uh, of depression. Thank you, thank you, Tony. Yeah, he's the personification of uh, depression. Who I can't remember what he is. Is he? I can't remember what, what Winnie, Winnie the Pooh's the personification of. Piglet is cowardice. Rabbit is OCD. Well, Piglet's fear. Uh, Rabbit is OCD. Um, oh, eating disorder. That's it. They're all they're all different types of uh, illnesses and stuff. Yeah. What the hell is this? Okay. Okay, so there's no way to defeat those. Tigger's ADHD. Tigger is ADHD. Yep. Uh -huh. They're just chihuahuas. Don't worry about it. Okay. Wait. Wait. Piglet's anxiety. That's it. Piglet is anxiety. Rabbit is OCD. Owl is... I want to say dementia. I'd rather flame the fools. Now you're thinking. A know-it-all? No, no, no. It's not, he's not a know-it-all. Narcissism, apparently, if owl. Narcissism, I suppose. I suppose I can kind of see that. Okay. Team Eeyore. Poor Eeyore. Thanks for noticing me. Here's a fun thing. So my mum bought us the um, the complete works of Winnie the Pooh to read to Teddy. So yeah, she bought us the complete works of Winnie the Pooh. Here's a fun thing I didn't realise. 
in Winnie the Pooh, in the box, there's a character who doesn't appear in the in the Disney adaptation. There's Lottie the Otter. There is Lottie the Otter. She doesn't appear in the cartoons. How can... Oh, social anxiety and, and uh, autism. Ah, okay. That's five, Jesus. Okay. I'm nowhere near done. Does she appear in the television series? I don't think so. I don't think she's in the TV series. That's nice. Doing good, Josh. Doing good. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Ah, there it is. How do I get there? There's a dragon up there as well. Hmm. Okay. Lottie the Otter, yeah. Yeah, she was uh, she was not included in the TV show or the movies. For reasons. No idea why. No, Gopher is part of the group anyway. No, Lottie wasn't replaced with Gopher. Gopher I can't remember what Gopher represents though. Gopher was a late addition to the to the stories. Um Oh, you mean Gopher? Yeah, Gopher's amazing. I love Gopher. Shay! Lottie hasn't appeared in TV yet, which makes no sense. Mmm, do I have to go there? Mm, that, that'll be it. Okay. I think I've seen it. Okay. Lottie was hope and friendship. Ah, oh, let me guess. She was cut out because she wasn't an anxiety. <laughs> I can literally just do that. Well, hello. Okay. Yeah, I knew that they cut that. I cut out hope, but kept depression. Right. Okay. She's probably like over positivity or something. Hey, Panda. Ah, look where we are. Sure. Sure. Okay. Uh, I've got to climb my way back up now. And then over here. back down here. I think I have to drop a bit and then do it. God's sake. Okay. You're gonna get that, that there you go. Need to do it again. in the slightest. Oh. Not gonna... Okay. There we go. 
speedrunner do? <laughs> Why am I speedrunner? What have I speedrun? Finish the first one today then? Probably. Thanks, Spyro. I'd love to help you catch Nasty, but I'd really hate to be trapped in crystal again. That's fair. Don't worry. The only this game. Trapped is him. How am I how am I speedrunning it? Okay, so there's a path over there I can go to. Okay. Ooh. Right. There we go. Get all of that. Apparently I did cheese the last boss. Metal, whatever he's called. She's doing it in a single stream. Ah, fair. I think it is only meant to be about five, six hours though. Metalhead, yeah, that guy. Honestly, I've not found any of the bosses difficult, although from what you've said, Nasty Nork's hard. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. How many more? One more. So this uh, this game's devs hate chihuahuas, huh? I mean, I don't blame them. They're very squeaky. There we go. Mine's beat says six hours for the OG, at least. Okay. Yeah, that's about right, then. It's um, out right. Boom, 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 and up. There we go. So this will be the second level, I think, of World 5 complete. Now I'm going to break that box. Oh. I believe so, yeah. Hey buddy, how you doing? Right. So yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Wait. Oh. Spyro two, um, two and three are longer. Hundred percent complete. I could never. <laughs> yeah. That was cheeky. Okay. Oh, is it the green thing up there that's shooting it? Right. Okay. So where does this take me? Ah. Right. Dragon, nice. Hey, how you doing? It's not the first one. The <laughs> longer Jews are having to deal with money bags. Oh, yeah, money bags. I forgot about him. Young one, while chasing Nasty's minions in this world, you must expect the unexpected and prepare for what is not there. Sure. Ah, okay. There's there's the last level then. Hoi. And then over here. You swear him every time he comes on, on screen. Hence <laughs> why I said you need to collect as many gems as you can. Ah, makes sense, makes sense. Does money bags do the thing that I expect that he does? Where key items that you need progress with the game have to be bought from him for certain amounts of gems. Is he, is he like that? Is that what Moneybags does? Remember the game?
Harder than you're making it look. Skill, skills, mate. Skills. Basically, yeah, yeah, correct. Charge your gems to unlock doors and abilities. <laughs> it's the Tom Nook of Spyro, right? Okay. Well, he's <laughs> a ah, wonderful. Can't wait to meet him. Okay. Hmm. Ow. Go away. So we get for hearing me. Okay. Hmm. It's this level. Oh, is this level hard? Okay. Oh, this is just annoying. Oof. I only just made that. Hey, you're welcome. Bye. Uh -huh. Oh, it's tree tops, but similarly, anno similarly annoying. Got ya. Got ya, got ya, got ya. Okay. Mm, hello. Thank you, ladies. Sub Mudada. Chicago. Ah. Fairies are always on your side, Spyro. Thank you. you. Got a doll. That's definitely something. Okay. Oh, look, Tiny Divas. No, oh, her sister was in this game. <laughs> Right, I need to get up there somehow. I'm assuming that way. Um, so let's go get this guy. You know when the sequel doesn't quite live up to the first one? Yeah, that's this and tree tops. <laughs> Thank you for releasing me. You're welcome. Okay. I'm surprised that, um, don't get me wrong, I like Sparks, but I'm surprised um, he's not a fairy, considering the emphasis they put on fairies in this. I'm surprised that your companion is a dragonfly instead of a fairy. I do like Sparks, but, but yeah, it's just interesting to me. It's a dragonfly, dragonfly. No, no, I get it. <laughs> I oh, well, I get the concept. Okay. Uh, let's go this way first. Red gem. Oh, did I miss a gem? Tar. Du, 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 du. Uh, anything over here? New. Okay. Okay, interesting. Nice. I can't believe I lost so many lives to that tree top level. Hmm, or. Oh. 
right. I guess I need to come back. What's this? Ah, up the whirly gig. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm guessing then I have to land on something else as well. Is there a second? Okay. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I'm picking up what you're putting down. The gems blend in like flowers. It's so annoying. Mm, yeah, it is a little annoying. Quite sure how that worked, but okay. Shooter skilled players can flame them all in one. <laughs> well, I guess I'm not skilled. <laughs> Thank you, my dears. Hello, hello, hello. Who's this little fella? Yuseni. Hmm. Ah, Spyro. Thanks. Supercharge will get you to new places here in Lofty Castle, too. See where it takes you. Sure. All dragons found. Nailed it. Uh, okay, before I do that jump... Oh, there's a gem over there. Okay. Right. So I've got a couple of options here. Let's try option one. Nope. Okay, that's not the correct way. That's fine. Other way, yeah. <laughs> that's option two. Um, okay. So the other way... ...was to go there and around and flick across, right? So I jump up and then like that. Okay. Right. Figure of eight, exactly. Oh, nearly. Okay. That's the correct way, though. That's the correct way. Womp womp. <laughs> okay. And then over here. Right. Okay. I see. Ah, aha, aha. Master at work. Ta. Okay. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Oi. Cool. And there, hmm. I was going to say, that's got to be all three, right? Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to glide over to there and get those ones, right. Oh, I'm not going to glide over there and get those ones. What? Jump over the cross onto there? There's no way. I was, wasn't I? 
I was about to jump across onto there. Nah. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. There's no way, mate. There's no way that that was my... Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, that's not what I was meant to do. There's a way through the castle. Yes, over there. I can see it. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Hey, dog, how you doing? Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Thank you for the raid. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? And proper gaming. Sub Doc. Okay. Oh. I'm finally seeing what all the fuss is about. I've never played Spyro before, so <laughs> my first proper experience of it. It's good. I like it. Okay. There's one. Okay. Okay. Grab all these. And don't mind giving uh, myself a shout next time. Really appreciate it. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Uh, it's just the awkward thing of having multiple accounts, you know. Okay, that's number two. Ah, there's the return home. Okay. So why would I attack you? I see the benefit of that. Okay. Yeah, no worries here. This is my favorite version. But it's polished form of nostalgia, sort of like new Crash games. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I figured that'd happen. His landing is abysmal. <laughs> His landing is abysmal. Right. Ooh. This version is missing a little magic. Oh, really? And Crash remakes is almost perfect. The Crash remakes are phenomenal. Um, I wouldn't say they're perfect. I'd say they're, they're very, very, very good. Um, I know, like we were saying earlier, with this one, they've like messed with the um, the voice lines and stuff. But yeah. oh, thank you whoever did that. Playing this is like the original. It's like the difference between Dark Souls One, Two. Oh, really? Not played those either. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, I believe that's all three. Right? Yeah, that's all three. So I guess it's boss time now, wherever the boss is. So for the boss, they just feel different. That's fair. Guessing it's up there. I will stretch just a moment, thank you. Oh, I got an achievement. That's fun. Okay. Thank you for the stretch. Oh, I'll have a proper one in a minute. Oh, although I did just click almost all of my back there. Let's see, come on. Hello, Spyro. Nicely done. I'll be done when I toasted that nasty Nork. Sure. Ah, oh, nice. That's all the dragons. Okay. Oh! So I could get rid of him. Hang on. And then I can get rid of the two that are blocking it. Right, I gotcha.
Gotcha. Right. So now I'm in control. And I can do this. There we go. Big brain! Uh, I don't know if I can make this, but we're going to try. Yeah. It was five hours, probably needed it. Yeah, I've had I've had the odd stretch, don't get me wrong, but yeah, I definitely need a proper stretch in a second. I'll do it on the next loading screen. Jacques! Is that the boss? It is the boss, isn't it? So then I guess that these two are to get to the flying part. Like the secret flying thing that's on every level. I'm guessing this is the worst boss in the game. What, Jacques? Yeah, ice lights, okay. Uh, I'm not doing the flying levels though, for those wondering. I'm not doing the flying levels. I don't like them. And they're not mandatory, so... Okay. Boop -a -doop -a -doo. The worst boss. Um, but Jack is the worst mini boss. Oh, really? <clears throat> then you'll never level. Uh, I can beat Nork though, right? I can beat Nasty Nork and beat the game technically, right? There's like a secret final level for like 100% of the game, right? Yeah. I don't need it. <sighs> Dude just needs to see them credits. Confronting Jock. Jock! Oh, shit. Oh, let me. Mwah! Voila! It's clean. <laughs> okay. Well, that's terrifying. What the hell am I going to do about you? How are you going to beat that guy? More like a playground. Oh, I got you. I got you. Jump charge. Oh, like that. That makes sense. So, like this. Ah, that's fun. Got ya. What up, Piper? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Right. I'm guessing this way is the way I've got to go. You never have the hand-eye coordination for this. <laughs> the biggest problem is having to move the camera. That's genuinely the biggest problem. It's having to constantly move the camera. I'm not a big fan of it. I remember not being a fan of it when I was a kid as well. I'm gonna be honest too, I say I've played this game, but I really more watch my brother play it. That's fair. That's fair. A lot of people have said like they either played it or watched the family members play it or got the family members to help them beat it and stuff like that, yeah. Okay. 
I lost so many. Uh, Doc, you'll appreciate this. I lost. I got my only game over so far of the playthrough on the uh, the treetops. The treetops got me a game over. You'll be lurking. No worries, no worries, no worries. Tree tops his ass. <laughs> so Doc agrees as well. Good. I thought there were two. You can just jump charge near them. Ah, okay. Any advice before this battle? Advice. Hmm. A wise dragon once told me aim high in life. But watch out for flying boxes. Uh huh? Okay. I see. You hate Jack? <laughs> Jacques, <laughs> but yes. Okay, so where's the other guy then? He's over here, right? I was looking for a dragon, not a key. Where's the other dragon? Genuinely. The hitboxing on the landing is disgusting. The edges in this game is disgusting. Here at 31 in 10 days, probably moving in half a year too. Oh! The game's janky. I mean, the game's janky in general, but yeah. Okay. That's two. Ooh, nearly got him. What was hard about that? Um Okay, well, that's that's shock. Um Right, dragon. Hitboxes and remakes are horrible. Uh, the reason of that boss is has a horrible hitbox. Hitbox. Ah, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, he had a terrible hitbox. Okay, so where's this last dragon? <gasps> there he is. Hmm. Okay. One of these pretty got flame to lower the tower. Oh, one of these guys? Is it that guy? Oh, I see. I've got, I see. All right. Okay. So I have to. I have to hit one of these guys. Right. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Brooksy. Okay. Not had a single female dragon yet. I'm just gonna put that out there. They're all they're all male. Or male voices anyway. <laughs> Last dragon's where you're not being yet. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Hypha, thanks. So glad you could be here to help us with that. How far in are you? I just beat the Fifth, fifth boss of six worlds. So I guess Nork is next. Is there? A, oh no, is there a sixth mini boss or is Nasty Nork uh, the last, the the sixth world boss? Is it mini boss Nasty Nork or just Nasty Nork? 
Nasty's last? Okay. I'm gonna miss again, aren't I? Like, what the hell? What am I doing wrong about this? Genuinely. I can't go back that way, as far as I can tell. Oh, it's a skill issue, for sure, yeah. That happened. I don't like how when you when you sprint, um, it does this stupid thing of like if your camera's point. I get it. Yeah, wrong way. I'm gonna game over on just being stuck here. I'm telling you now. I'm gonna game over being stuck here. You can't control the. You can control. I know I can control the camera. I'm doing it right now. Right, first question. Left or right? Which way I meant? I hate the hitboxing in this. Left or right? Biggest complaint about this game is the hitboxing. Left or right? Left for the gems. Don't give a shit about gems. Left or right? To get back. <laughs> right to leave the level. Right. Okay. So what? Do I run and jump or am I, what am I doing wrong here? Like, oh, the jester. Okay, thank you, thank you. So there's a there's hitting the jester. Like, give me a thing here. No. Ah, uh, oh. Oh, does this get me out? No. It's just the ability to say you did it. Um, Alright, so I'm going to game over. Great. I don't know how to leave. How do I... Oh, I can just exit the level? That's a thing? I can just do that? Will that count as a win? That counts as me finishing it. I can just exit. Like, the two dragons count, beating Jock counts, it, it all just counts. Like, it'd be, it'd be fine. I'm waiting to see a yay or nay. Yeah? That's so random that you can do that. That is so random you can do that. You do in speedrunning. That's so stupid that you can do that! I mean, don't get me wrong, it's great, but it's also stupid. Uh, balloon guy, he's around here somewhere. Balloon's next to Jack. Oh, so he is. Uh, to the left of here, I guess, then. There he is. Okay. Well done, Spyro. Thanks. I hope you know what lies in store for you. Nasty's world is not the friendliest place you'll ever find. Okay. Are you ready to go? Yeah, let's go. 
yeah now the the um the edges of places like when you're platforming and gliding and landing the, the hitboxing on that is disgusting it's one of the worst i've ever seen um genuinely seen this game so fun. such a fun game but the hitboxing on the jumps is bleh. one of the best game mechanics i know oh it's fantastic yeah interesting Oh, the charging is also terrible. <laughs> Imagine how bad it was by then. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm so glad I'm doing it on the, the remake rather than the original. You can't crash too anymore because of the bad platform hitboxes. It's fair. It's fair. Hey, didn't I already free you? You're in Nasty's world now, Spyro. And you are the dragon that must defeat him. Bring him on. I'm ready. Reach the exit in each of Nasty's lands. Then you can challenge. Oh, I have to reach the exit. Okay. The charging never gets better. Great. Great. Okay. Hmm. Nork Cove, huh? I usually has solid square hitboxes. If you didn't make it, you knew why. Fair enough. Yeah, this this is, yeah. You already got that dragon like World 1. Yeah. Couldn't figure out why he was there. Weird. Very weird. Okay. I'm guessing Spyro never grows up. And they never explain it. Hmm. You call Nata? Is it really a nut? I mean, they acknowledge it. It's like, hey, didn't I already free you? Like, they acknowledge it. So I guess it's it's not a nutter if they're acknowledging that they've done it. Well, this is just toxic waste from Crash. This is just toxic waste from Crash 1. Great level. My favorite level in Crash 1 is toxic waste. That's fun. Uh, right. That's fun. Nice reference. There's so many crash references, I love it. Because I know that, like I said before, they're the same universe. My god, the charging, man. One more for good measure. Right. I imagine it's implied that he tried to take him on and got captured again since he's so hell him. Yeah, I'd imagine that's what's probably happened. That's why I figured he, that he came to try and take him on. I wouldn't call that a nutter, personally. I'd just say that's just him trying to, uh, to defeat him by himself. Well, see, I was going to try and stand on that, but apparently not. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, screw this game. As if it just did that to me. Oh, that's so bad. For nutters, to all nutters count the whole trilogy. Uh, I'm going to split it per game. I'm going to split it per game. Oh, that's TNT. Okay. The next level is your second favorite and the hardest of the game. Oh, really? Interesting. Okay. Hello. Latif. Hello, Latif. Keep up the good work, Spyro. I expect Nasty's really starting to worry about you. I'd be shaking in my Nork boots if I were him. Didn't I also free him? Are these all just people who have come to try and stop him on their own? Okay, I'm gonna go back here a second. 
kind of worse because of censorship in this version. Oh, really? You believe so? So I guess these are all people who came <coughs> came to try and be him. But yeah, the nutters are going to just carry over. Um, they're just going to ah, not carry over. Sorry, they're going to be individual. So it'll be each game gets its own set of nutters. To be honest, <coughs> excuse me. I don't really see how this game could get nutters other than like plot. I think plot is the only way really where it could get any nutters. Or lack thereof, you know. Remember, you remember me getting him? Yeah, yeah, I, th I thought so. Okay. One thing I will say about this game, it does, um... It does encourage you to, like, check everywhere. Like, check all of your surroundings. Like, it definitely is making me, like, turn my camera and check everything, you know? Yeah, I figured that wouldn't work. I just, but it was there, so I thought, I might as well give it a go. Okay. All the dragon in these world went to fight, got beaten. Makes sense. Okay. Did you just headbutt TNT? I did. I did just to see if it would work. It did not. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, That's why women live longer than men. Ha! <laughs> Uh, oh, that's how I get it. Okay. Boop. So who's probably the best? Oh, really? See, Brooksy was saying that he doesn't like to. Brooksy was saying one and three are great and that two exists. Mm. Which which game is it that they introduced Hunter? I remember liking Hunter. I know he's in three. Is he in two or is he just in three? A dragon for each home world. Ah. Okay. Cool. Three has the best. Oh, okay. Indecisiveness there. Indecision. A fracture in the group. Hmm. Not sure how I messed that up, but uh, I don't care for two. Right, two eyes. Ah. Hey, Thomas. I'd be rescued, especially by such a little dragon. Uh, uh, what I mean is, I always believed in you, Spyro. You gotta believe. Ha! <laughs> nice, nice proper the rapper reference. I like it. Okay. I got squished. I did. I did get squished. Okay. That's a nice prep of the rapper reference. Okay, well, there's the leave thing. You believe in Joe? <laughs> God's sake. Interesting. Charging is awful. Okay. Uh, can you get that one? Yep. Oh, mm. Mm. that was weird. Oh, I got all the dragons. I didn't see that. Uh, okay.
Hmm. There we go. Take that. Go over here. Oh. Nope. Not exactly easy to tell where I'm aiming here. There we go. Two is the odd child for me. I prefer the story mini stories, but prefer the gameplay of three with more basic stories. So we actually, ah, I see. I see. I see. Which one introduces the half goat lady? There's a half goat lady? Ooh, I'm waiting to meet her. She sounds real fun. I know th three, if I'm not mistaken, has you like switching characters a lot right there's like a like a penguin super spy or whatever and like a few other a few other people there's like cheetah right or hunter he's hu called hunter right she's the best girl I really I think this is my exit. Three is definitely a fever dream game. <laughs> oh, there we go. Cool. Done. So they say three levels. Right. So. And then Nasty Nork, I guess. Okay. Ah. Checkpoint. Hunter was a cool character. I think he carries through. I'm pretty sure he's in the future games as well. I'm pretty sure I remember seeing Kadikras talking about it. <sighs> In fact, I seem to remember there being a game for, I saw Kadikras talking about where uh, Hunter has like a broken leg or something. Something like that. It's like a like a cast on his leg or something stupid. Two levels, nasty. Final loot level you get 100%. So two levels and nasty. Okay. Jesus Christ. Um, okay. Alright, well luckily they're very slow. Okay. Cool. Here's a cinnamon here, so. Ah, okay. Right. Hunter lost my love with him, gets stuck in, in rock, and you have to do it twice. Oh, really? Ooh. Okay. Oh. Interesting. Okay. This is the second level of the world, so I'm pretty sure it's just nasty after this. No, I think it's... I think it's three and then nasty, because there seem to be two more entrances that haven't unlocked yet. But we'll see. We'll see. Maybe. Most annoying minigames are in two. Which one was it that made Caddy rage because they've got to guide that person without them blowing up on mushrooms and stuff? That's two. Oh, great. The fourth could be the flying levels. Could be. Could be. Nasty and loot level. Oh, okay. We're about to be done then. That's fun. Wow. One more. Okay. It's three. Shield of the kangaroo. Forgot about that. Mmm. Ah. Okay. 
I do appreciate the sheer amount of Crash Bandicoot references there have been in this. I didn't think there'd be anywhere near as many. I knew there were... Oh, Christ. I knew there were a few... Um... I knew there were a few Spyro references in Crash. Um... Maybe there's more that I'm not aware of, but I, I didn't realize there'd be so many crash references in this. But you can figure out what was censored. From this level. Um, I'm not sure. Be on the for North Commando, Sparrow. What what was what what, what was censored? Was there like a self-destructing guy, like a guy that blew himself up? Were they actually guns? In the original, were they actually guns? But in this, they've been turned into like slime things? Were they actually guns? Before? They shot real bullets? Ah, yeah. I can see why they censored it. I can see why they censored it. Oof. Okay. I mean, it doesn't take anything away from it. Like that, them not being real guns. It doesn't really doesn't really take anything from the uh, from the level. I don't know why the large tiger dragons got caught. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And there goes Sparks. Can you get Sparks back with the by with with the butterflies, or is Sparks gone, gone um, until you uh, finish the level or die? Did I get all of them? No? How many did I miss? Oh, so many. Butterfly? Okay. In the sky! <laughs> Nasty Nork, no, you're right, yeah, last level. Ganasty Ganork. My goodness. We're here. I didn't think we'd get here this fast, I'm going to be honest. I started early today, deliberately. But, okay. Ganasty Ganork, let's go. Check board. Oh, wow, they really were real guns. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Okay. I, I don't know, I kind of like the new one. Let's see, one new coffee. Oh, nice, Dan. Confronting Ganasty Ganork. Okay. So, what do we have to do for you? Okay. I think I know what I need to do. I'm pretty sure I just go around. Okay. Oh, there's an egg guy. So it's about six hours to finish.
Ooh. Oh, that was my way. That's how I have to get him. That's definitely how you have to get him. Okay. There we go. Tarbib. Okay. I see. Why? Why did the key not work? Why is the key not... Oh, it's open another door. Ah, I see. I see. Oh, I see why you don't like him. Oh, I thought I had him. There you go. Okay. Okay. Door, 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 door. So how do I hurt him? Do I charge him? Do I breathe fire on him? No, the pie can never do because I'm not fast enough. Oh, really? Was I supposed to be fast here? I hate, I hate, I hate how slippery the hitboxes are. Do I have to redo this whole stupid- oh my god, I have to redo the whole thing. Dude. What is that aim? Okay. So I just have to chase him. Do you want the 99 lives? No, 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 I'm fine. At the end of the day, what's the worst that's going to happen? It's going to kick me out. <coughs> it's going to kick me out, and I'm going to have to come back and do it again. It's not exactly going to be hard. It's just a case of like redoing and redoing and redoing and redoing and redoing. Wait, uh, do I hit him? Do I charge into him or do I flame him? Do I charge into him or do I flame him? Flame? Okay. Okay. Oh, absolutely do one. No, is it going to make me start from the beginning? Is it actually going to make me start from the beginning? Oh, absolutely do one game. That is horrendous. That is horrendous. Oh, 
Oh, I thought I had him. Ooh. Yeah, it's a small level, at least. True, I suppose. How did that not hit him? Oh my god, the charging. Considering how much emphasis they're putting on the charging, the charging is awful. <clears throat> right. The brutality of 90s and 2000s games, right? <sighs> Thought that hit me then. Okay, so this bit's fine. This bit I just... That's 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 fine. The next bit, how am I meant to platform that? Cause run jump isn't isn't a thing. Okay. Charge is awful in the remake. Oh, is it just the remake where it's bad? Okay. Oh, absolutely no. That's so bad. Oh, my God. How do you not polish this? Like, how do you not polish that? Getting stuck on that? That's awful. Right. That second bit <clears throat> where I fell, was that just bad luck? Or did you have to do something special to get across that? There we go. Oh, the platform's going. Oh, I see, so I've got to be fast. Wait, what? You're toast, Nork. <laughs> Wait, seriously? That's it? Man took less hits. He took less hits than all his mini bosses. Sorry, I took so long. He took less hits than bosses. Guys. What about Ganasty Ganork? Nasty Nork is toast. So now that's ridiculous. Order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Well, mostly. I've still got some treasure to find. What will you do next? <sighs> I'd say the sky's the limit. Okay. That's quicker than I remember. Right. That was... Well, I mean, okay. Alright. That's that's the first Spyro game. That's Spyro 1. Beeson. Uh, cool. That... that I'm going to be honest. That was... That was easier than I thought it would be. Shorter than I thought it would be. But definitely very fun. Definitely very fun. So I guess we can move on to the second one now?